How's it going, everyone? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Didn't realize I needed to clear my throat. Actually, I need to cough a little louder than that. One second. Okay, should be good now. Thought there was no stream today? No, no stream today. It was no stream yesterday, and maybe no stream tomorrow. We'll see. But it's New Game Eve. New Game's Eve. It's the most wonderful holiday of the year. Especially when the game you're currently playing is Life is Strange 2. This is the last time we ever have to stream this. I'm excited. The pacing of this game has been several Wisher 3 productions. Both, both the game itself and my video. Got a couple of very exciting announcements for you today. <sighs> Cannot believe game's last game he will complete is Life is Strange 2, truly remarkable. No, no, no. It's it's the final Life is 2, Life is 2 stream, not the final stream. Or can it be? Can I can I Can I quit? Am I free? I can't be free anymore. You see what YouTube's doing? YouTube is like, at a certain point in the near future, maybe we're there already, you just can't swear in your YouTube video anymore. Like, I don't I don't know what to do. Like, they keep changing rules and retroactively applying them. Who wants that? Whoa, loud. Really not even censored? Maybe censored is fine, but you, like, you can't show you can't show censored, like, sex scenes or, or, like, certain types of nudity, which makes me wonder exactly how are they determining that. Hey, Yoshi. Wait, what happened, what happened on YouTube? Um, RT Game got hit by some demonetization on, uh, I think one of his channels. I'm not sure if it was his main channel or if it was, like, a, a secondary channel that he has. Um, for profanity and stuff like that, and, uh, RT Game isn't really a big profanity enjoyer, you know? Like, not big time. Um, so, so stuff like that. Apparently YouTube is changing their, their rules and how they're enforcing it, and it used to be that you couldn't swear in the first, uh, oh, is it 15 seconds? It's something along there. It's like, you can't drop a, a big, like, F-bomb or anything like that in the first 15 seconds of the video. You're allowed to curse sporadically or you know even that is not really all that clear throughout the rest of the video um violence is also something that they like hey unedited gameplay footage is fine but then if the gameplay happens to have a lot of violence in it and suddenly it's not fine so it's like the rules are just all over the place and i don't understand it i don't know what's gonna happen in the future of uh, of stuff like that but yeah like this isn't the reason, or the, or the main reason why The Witcher 3 video is taking so long, but um, this is a reason why I am less motivated to make content for YouTube, is because of the way that um, YouTube just will not answer support tickets, you can't get in touch with anyone if you have a problem, um, they will there will be a problem with how much money they're paying you and you, they won't even talk to you about it there's just no way to even like dispute it because they won't even answer your uh dis disputation um they keep changing rules like if you can get a copyright claim and it'll just never go away even though you it's not legitimate and it's just better to just re-upload the video and just hope that the algorithm doesn't catch it again or doesn't catch it in the wrong way i've read that if the the auto subtitler thinks that you swore that that can count as profanity even though you didn't and the auto titler just thinks so and then when you contact youtube support they will just look at what the auto the subtitle says instead of going through it themselves which makes sense because there's so many videos on the platform but it's just beeping counts as profanity there's no way it's just uh it's just in, it's just insane like, I understand how we're in the situation, because it's just such a hard problem. Uh, uh, it's such a hard platform to moderate, but that doesn't stop it from being frustrating and scary as hell to to be on there. Uh, 
Yeah, it count beeping counts. So what if I beep a word that isn't profanity? What if I just want to beep something for fun? Man, so, like, Darude Sandstorm must be, like, the most profane video on their whole entire platform, then, if they think the fucking that beeping sound is profanity. Like, cool. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, I have, I have, uh, Moist Critical's video got demoed. Demo? Oh, demonetized for saying comes not in a sexual way in first eight seconds. Well, I think Charlie's problem is that he can't say that word without it sounding sexual. So, like, uh, this time I'm I'm on YouTube site. I see where they're coming from. Fun stuff, like Remy censoring part of the video game scene with Mosaic. That tripped the AI, so his channel is screwed. Most channels showed the same scene on centers and we're fine fun your voice is lower pitched and i remember what's up with that my voice is very changeable my my voice is um determined on how much sleep i got the quality of the sleep what time of day it is uh, i don't know i well i'm pretty sure everyone's choice everyone's voice is changeable like that but um my voice i think is more changeable than most because of just how sleep affects it so um you'll see that when it comes to YouTube videos as well and streams. If you ever start a stream at the beginning and hear me and then skip right to the end, you'll notice a, a, a difference between my voice. But if you just watch the whole thing from start to finish, you probably won't tell as it's changing. I also am not one of those types of people that has like practiced how to enunciate things and like how they, uh, how they portray themselves online. I know a lot of streamers, particularly streamers that will have um, a face cam uh, just like actors will as well. They will like, like they will practice facial expressions. They'll practice how the, their posture, how they um, how their lips look and, and feel when they pronounce certain words to, to be consistent and to portray themselves the way they want to. I don't do any of that shit. <laughs> I just show up and stream. <laughs> I'm so excited to be done with this game. I'm so excited. Nah, good. Love your voice. I don't think my voice is bad. Sometimes it can be bad. Um, I've I've learned to, to like my voice. I didn't before, but uh, or I've learned to tolerate my voice. Um, but it is changeable. I come from the future. Stop this lunacy. Don't finish Life is Strange 2. You must play Yeek to prevent the bad future I come from. Is this Yeek fan fiction? Where is Happy New Yeek, Joe? It's not happening. Next year, Merry Yeekmas. Fair warning, the end of this game actually made me ill. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you even going to play True Colors? We're going to try. And if it's worse than this, then we're not finishing it. That's my promise to you. If it's worse than Life is Strange 2, or if it's as bad as Life is Strange 2, actually, I don't think I can do this again. I'm, I really don't think I can. Sorry. You've made me really get into Sudoku. Great. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, a bunch of people have gone into it since I put it on the stream, so that's cool. Variant Sudoku like, kicks ass, man. I watched your Dark Souls 2 video yesterday and I have to ask, why did you have so much um, gentleman's horse, gentle horse videos on your browser bookmarks? Um, well, it's a joke. <laughs> Also, I took a, an animal personality quiz on Jad's a few months ago, and I got horse, so... God. <laughs> anyway, so, I have two announcements today. They're not really all that big announcements, although one of them might be a big deal to some of you, and the other one might be a big deal to some of you. Alright, so the first announcement is... In the spirit of Christmas... I forgot to give you all a present. And that present is, I am taking 100 million monocoins off the goal to start the anime marble races. All right? So 
So that is my present. If I can do it right now, I will do it. That is my present to you. Merry Christmas. One hundred million. Let me see if I can do it. It's not letting me. Oh well, I tried. Christmas present revoked. Hold on, it's gone now. Shit. Okay, extend, trash. Let's just trash it. Am I gonna have to remake the whole thing? Is that, is that what's gonna happen here? Goal. Extend. Can you just pump 100 million into it? Uh, I don't know, can I? I think I'm limited with what I can do too. Like, I'm limited by whatever a day. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I might have to restart it. Just do 50,000 stream. Yeah, I'll just keep doing it. And you guys will, will, won't will put coins in there as I'm doing that, right? You'll just let me do it by myself, right? Okay, so at the end of the current 22 days, it's not letting me edit it. So at the end of, maybe there is a way, I'll check after stream. I won't though, I'll forget, but you know, here we go. Um, there is an edit button for the custom rewards below, but there isn't one for the ongoing community challenge. So I'm guessing that's that's the issue. All right, so instead we're going to, um, like when, uh, when this is over, I will delete the challenge and I will write down how many points, how many coins you guys put into it. And then I will restart the challenge minus a hundred million, minus however many coins you guys put in, minus a million for every single marble that has been put in as well. And that will be the new total going forward. So I will do that in 22 days. All right, so there we go. I will, I will delete the community challenge. Um, I guess I could do it just now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, I could do it, but then I have to do some math on stream. I don't want to do that. Um, I'll do that before next stream. I won't though. I'll forget, but I'll, I'll do it soon. Um, in other news, uh, this isn't one of the announcements in other news. Um, Jad's had an event and a marble was graciously donated on my behalf. You know, some might even say non-consensually, uh, and there is a new anime marble that has been added to to the roster because of this. And uh, don't get too excited because it's shit. Um, it is... Mawaru Penguin Jo- uh, What? What the- what are, you, what are you putting Joseph Anderson on there? I didn't- I didn't- No. I didn't put that- That's not from me. You need to edit that, Caps. You can't, it can't be, I agree, yeah, I agree to it, but I didn't put the marble in the race. I didn't like, like, it's not like I chose that. Someone else chose that marble. It's from Astral, yeah, it's from Astral. It's from Astral. Caps list, Caps rules, not the asshole. Joe's, Discord Joe's rules. Anyway, so that's uh, that's the marble race. If you don't know what the marble race is, you can show up every stream to contribute mono coins to the race that is never ever happening to make me watch my first anime. I've watched some anime already, but not really ever seriously and not really for like enjoyment. It's usually been for like, like, you know, when I was growing up, some episodes of Pokemon were on, when I was growing up, some episodes like Beyblade or or um, Sailor Moon were on TV. Uh, I've, I've seen like a couple episodes of Dragon Ball Z. I didn't really like it. Um, I think that's that's about it. I watched Danganronpa, the Danganronpa 3 anime for the streams that we did, and it was dog shit. Um, if 
anyone like you know thinks that's a real anime or whatever then okay but my first real anime i haven't watched any uh so far the you can make me watch it if with the marble races you can also save up a million mana coins to put a marble in and that marble will be the anime that i will watch um like if it wins the race we're gonna race them all at the end uh it's not gonna be like one race winner takes all though we're gonna we're gonna make a we're gonna make a 10-year event out of it um so far, the marbles are Batman Ninja, Neon Genesis and Evangelion, Mob Psycho 100, Yuru Camp, Hayao Miyazaki's, I hope I'm saying that name right, uh, 11 movies, Master of the Martial Hearts, Haven't You Heard, I'm Sakamoto, DNA Squared, Boku Satsu Tenshi Dokuro-chan, Steins Gate, Kill la Kill, Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan. Higiriyashi, All Seasons, Code Geass, isn't that just Tengu Topa Garen Lagan again? And Mawaru Penguin Drum. Those are the anime marbles that have been redeemed so far. If you would like to put your favorite anime in there, you can. If you want to put another marble of one of those anime in, you can, and that will double its chances of winning. However, for every anime of the every marble of the same anime, the cost is doubled. So if you want to put another Neon Genesis Evangelion on, one for each waifu in the game, uh, in the in the anime, then it's two million mana coins for that, not one million. So there you go. So Jad said a pretty good event yesterday. It was I, I showed up for the last what was it, the last last quarter of it or something? No Discord announcement? Oh yeah! One second. It was pretty fun. I'm proud of you kids. You looked like you were having a good time. Baldur is banned? I hope so. Second announcement, Joe. Second announcement is that I come to you, towel in hand, to admit that I'm wrong. I do still think that it is ideal to wash a towel every single time you use it, all right? And I still, like, okay, ideally, you know, you should exercise multiple times a day. Ideally, you know, you should be super healthy and always clean or whatever, all right? Ideally, I think that ideally washing your towel every single time is not that hard to do. So I think it is still like an obtainable ideal. All right, but I, I come to you towel in hand to say, I think maybe me and Lily are the weird ones here. All right, like enough of you seem to think that getting two showers out of every towel, maybe three is, is normal. I will not, I will not go more than three. More than three, you're now the wrong one, all right? But I will admit that it seems like one one wash, one towel is... It, it, apparently, it's odd. But I think, ideally, like, why not? It's like, it just smells kind of musty. Like, like why, would you, why would you do it if you didn't have to? You're the asshole that was your first shower. Exactly, exactly. But this isn't a democracy, remember? Why would you bow to the people? Because, like, when you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're wrong, you're wrong. Um, I've also been informed of a take on Twitter um, that if you uh, have not made a game that you should not criticize the Mario games. <laughs> this was not actually the take. I'm kind of paraphrasing it just for fun. The take wasn't that bad. Anyway, uh, apparently you uh, you are if you have not uh, made a game, you cannot uh, criticize the Mario games. Well, I've got a couple years of game development under my belt now, <laughs> so kind of. And I just want to say, 
I still fucking agree with every single fucking thing I said in that video. So, what now, motherfucker? <laughs> what now, motherfucker? <laughs> Making a game to own the Mario fans. That's the real reason. Actually, as a game developer, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. I won't, though. Don't really feel like much of a game developer, to be honest. I feel more like a like a, a producer. I've done some design, but like not a lot. I would. I'm nowhere near enough to to call myself a game designer or developer yet. I think. Ooh, it just restarts. I'm playing Last Persona shot. 5 for the first time and seeing all the stream Keep memes point. that come from this game is really fun. Oh, that's just pretty much every game. Out here. That one had Keep a lot of them, though, yeah. Kind of weird. Really? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. 10-4. Trucker speak. Just finished Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines yet again. I really would like to see a World of Darkness or at least Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines critique. Do you have any plans to do this in the near future? I streamed it, but I don't think I'm gonna make a video on it. Uh, it was pretty good. It was it was interesting. I think I would have enjoyed it more if I had played it when it was released. It seems like it wasn't fully realized what they wanted to do. I got some really big um, New Vegas vibes from uh, from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines versus Predator. Can't leave. Gotta find Daniel. That's most games. As a game designer, I definitely agree with you, and I definitely feel the uh, the difficulty of like trying to fully realize your vision uh, within the confines of uh, of, of budget and time, um, and the, de the the design space that you have, especially with engine limitations. Um, except for Nintendo. Nintendo has more money than God, so they should be able to do whatever they want. Lose money, one way or the other. Life is Strange 2 or Beyond Two Souls? Beyond Two Souls all the way. Like, at least Beyond Two Souls is entertaining. This has been just a miserable slog the whole entire time. So glad this guy picked me up. Yeah. I can't leave. All right, did you write some journal while you were in there? We have $17. They took our money. How did we get $17? I guess we found some in the car. Racist dickheads beat the shit out of me because I wouldn't let them humiliate me. My whole body hurts, stomach, lungs, but I don't care. My only priority is to find Daniel. No more gas, gotta walk, and devote. Wasn't it racist dickhead singular that did that? Yeah, that was a weird scene, huh? Oh, we did. Got picked up by a trucker not far away from Haven Point. I was nervous, but the guy was sweet. Even hooked me up with a sandwich. Nice. Really needed that boost. Gotta find Daniel. Do you think that if you took a longer break between games, it would be so boring? Um, I mean, maybe, but most streamers don't take breaks between games. Like, no, I don't think so. Actually, maybe if we played a different game before coming to this. But, I but no, I really do think it's the game's fault. <laughs> Sorry, I really do. Like, the, as it stands right now, episode two and three were just. Just a waste of time, man. Like, just a waste of time. Alright. So someone's gonna walk out with a, a kid right now, and the kid's gonna be crying. Oh, man, I'm psychic. Pre-played. Oh, I didn't want a cutscene. You okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. That's your dad? Okay. Uh, hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything's all right. Don't worry. You here for the service? Uh, looking for someone. Uh, not really looking for someone. 
Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. Okay, what is... The, this guy's face looks kind of weird, huh? I don't mean like the... Like the person. I mean the character model looks kind of... Glossed over or something? Like... In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Like he looks okay. airbrushed. Um, thanks. <laughs> don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Uh oh. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Thank you, Luke. What miracle? It's this kid. He can move things with his mind. Uh, what miracle? <laughs> you haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. Uh oh. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Daniel's gonna walk in wearing like a like a pope robe. Praise the Lord. Yep, praise the Lord. All right. Poor little girl. So, considering how the game has handled oh, a lot of bad. things so far, I'm sure that this you My know. My father looked kind of spacey. This is gonna be handled with a a, a lot of respect nice. and nuance. There's no way they're a cult. No way they're a cult. They're going to be really normal. And you know, some religious people can be a little weird with their beliefs, but some people okay. need that, okay? And I get it. And they're uh, going to be like, it's fine. All right, let's play on the playground. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Nice one, Yoshi. Must be more kids here. Huh. Wonder if Dan will make friends. Do, 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 do. I can't see anything. Guess it's time to go to church. Take me to church. I hope there's no diddling. I don't think they're going to go that far. Giant slot machine. But this place seems different. Oh yeah, it's church, half church, half casino, right? Weird. Looks like our old training range. Did he fart? Yeah, he farted. Was it audible or was it readable? He farts a lot. They reek too. Feels out of time. Quiet. Okay, they're letting me walk around quite a lot. Knock. All right, let's knock. Maybe I can ask a bit more about this place. Thank God. Do you let your dogs give you kisses? No, I do not. I wonder what kind of community this is. Did Jacob really live here all his life? What? Why is this a why is this a hot take? What do you mean? What do you mean by kisses? Like, do I let them lick my face? Like, no, but if they lick my face, I'm not like upset. It's like, yeah, whatever. Like you 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 got one in. Congratulations. Like licking my hand or whatever, like again, like I'm not like, hey, here's my hand, please lick it. It's like, yeah, what whatever. Like if they do it, it's fine. But I'm not gonna like like open my fucking mouth and be like, yo, who's a good boy? Yo, give me kisses. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, you get in there, bro. Yeah, you're really enjoying yourself. My face is oatmeal. Go, go, go. Like, like no, like, like no, absolutely not. I'm, I'm not encouraging it. Do you let your wife uh, give you kisses? Place to look for him. Not just my wife. Yeah, yeah, of course. Smells like bacon and bread in there. Oh shit, I'm starving. Wonder how many people come and go through this place. Do you still think you're right about the plunger? What do you mean? I am right about the plunger. Like this is like, 
as as close to objective of a take as you can when it comes to things that you have in your house. Look, if you're if you're there like, oh, I've never needed a plunger, so I don't so I don't need a plunger. You're a fucking idiot. You wanna know why? Because you can make the exact same argument for I never I've never needed a fire extinguisher. I've never need my house has never been on fire before. Why do I need a smoke alarm? I've never fuck. Why do I need a fire extinguisher? My house has never been on fire before. Hmm. Feel good, curious. Twenty five years on this world, and my house has never been on fire before. So why do I need fire prevention? Well, the reason is is because the chances of your house being on fire are slim, I will admit, but if it does happen, you're fucked, and you might die. And it's the same thing with being having a plunger. It's like, okay, the chance of you needing a plunger are fucking higher than you needing a fucking smoke alarm or fire extinguisher, but if it does happen, your house might be completely fucked, so yeah. So you have to, like, fucking, like, look at it as, what's the probability of this is gonna happen to me, and also, what what's the damage if I don't have preparation for it? So it's like, okay, if there's a fucking nuke that's detonated fucking, like, 100 miles away from your house, and you don't have a fucking rad suit, then you might be fucking dead. Well, what's the chances of a nuke being detonated from your fucking house? Pretty fucking slim. But what's the chances that you're gonna need a fucking plunger in your in your life at some point? You know, pretty high. Also, they cost like five bucks. Just go get a fucking plunger. But also, get a fucking smoke alarm and a fire extinguisher. Wow. Must be a pretty good church to drive all this way. Okay. Now I'm totally convinced. Just like, you should also have like, I don't know, maybe a day's supply of water, like in your fridge or in a container somewhere. Like just, just like a, maybe a couple liters, like two liters is enough. Just like, just keep two liters of water in rotation just in case something bad happens one day. Like, like have a, have a little bit of dried food. Like, okay. Where are you, Dan? Radio with batteries in case you lose power, you know, like the, stuff like that. Okay, now you're losing me. What do you mean? What if, like, the city cuts off, like, fucking, like, the water supply for a little bit? Like, we lose water here in Moncton all the time. I'm not saying, like, oh, if you don't have it, you're gonna fucking die. I'm not saying, like, like fucking doomsday prep. I'm just saying, like, what if you, what if there's, like, a water main break, like, on your street, and you don't have water for, like... I don't know, 10 hours. Don't you want to have like the water ready to go in your fridge in a bottle somewhere or like in, in a container that you can put in the fridge afterwards so you don't have to like rush out in the middle of the day and be like, fuck, now I have to go to the fucking gas station to get some water. Like, like no, just, just have it ready just in case. You can stay dry for 10 hours. Why would you want to? 10 hours with no water? What the hell? Yeah, very humble. You're trolling, Joe, right? It's so trolling. Trolling in my chat for some good fucking takes, man. Did you not have a flashlight either? You need a flashlight. Every house should have a flashlight. Oh, flashlight. Thank you for the gifted sub, is exactly Riley, S supporting these oh, great takes. Feel that cold air. <sighs> Thank God for AC. Why are they talking about my brother like that? Fake. Praise be to Daniel, your friends, the Bladdies. We saw a miracle child of Jesus today in Red Fisher Church. Thank you. What is the spelling? I would not believe it unless I saw it with my very own eyes. Daniel is indeed an angel sent down onto us. Hallelujah. Shaw Moore. Be not afraid. Fake. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the angel Daniel. He has arrived to clean the filth and sinners from this world. Bless his soul, a friend. I heard the word and will never forget this day or this church. The Reverend Mother is truly an instrument of the Lord. Amen. Rose Hornsby, Superior, Wyoming. All right. So, like, this would already be viral on YouTube, right? Especially if uh, Daniel didn't drop an F-bomb in the first 15 seconds. Claire had pretty much the same ones. My marketing, guys. Considering getting a 5-5 tattoo on my body, thoughts? Don't do that. A Get the wolf from Life is Strange 2 instead. What's going on? Okay, so they, they've had time to set up flyers. Hey, it's for charity. Me. Oh, 
chat acting like I'm saying you have to have like a fucking like bottle of water purification tablets in your house at all times just in case, which I do have by the way. But like, I'm not gonna say everyone needs to have those. Like that, that would be insane. It's not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man all right, remember that. Luke 18, 27. She's going to be standing there one uh, soon, and we're going to have to say that to her. You're right. I did say that passage. For God. With that righteous faith comes the salvation. Do you have some iodine pills or iodine? You know what? I think I do. <laughs> do I? No, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Of your <laughs> souls, can you cross? That invisible bridge to salvation. Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. oh yes. I'm just saying, you in my ideal life, I would I would there. own like a plot of land out in the country so where that could be converted to a farm that also mm -hmm. has a second secret bunker mm -hmm. farm mm -hmm. underneath where I can grow food in the basement. Mm -hmm at the same time that I'm growing food outside, you know? So like if the world ended, like I could I could grow shit under the radar and no one would ever like, you know, the, the, the roaming gangs of raiders in, in the in the apocalypse would never be like, oh, someone's growing food in that field. Instead I could grow it underground and no one, everyone would just leave me alone, all right? I also want some solar panels. Waiting for, can I get a hallelujah? If the apocalypse happens, do I don't want to survive it. Hot take. Wow, what a coward. Do you have faith in Checking out before the game even starts. Then please. Internet now the internet's gone in the apocalypse. Our newest member and our latest miracle. The angel Daniel. Would you really rather live through an apocalypse? I mean, like, the apocalypse is happening no matter what, and I get to choose if I'm living or dying. I think I would live through it. What the hell did they do to your hair, bro? Here is Daniel. The prophet. Would you? Yeah, I don't want to die. But God. If it's really bad, I can just make that decision later. Do his work. Yes. If the apocalypse happens, is the Witcher 3 video canceled? No. To deliver us. Oh, he's evil. From the wilderness. To our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. Man, my ears are really itchy today. Would you live through an apocalypse of fast moving zombies? Fuck no, I'd be dead fucking probably day two. Honestly, if I lived to day two, I would that, that's that's a PB, that's pretty good. I'm not one of these idiots that's like, oh yeah, I would do fine. Like, no, I would be, I would be dead. I'm a fucking gamer. Like, I'm not that unhealthy, but you know, I don't think I could sustain a run for like an hour. All right, a run. I could sustain a jog, but I couldn't sustain a run for an hour. All right, like, like no, I'm dead. You have dad strength, which is OP. That's true. That's true. If a cougar attacks you during the apocalypse, would you kill it? No, I would seduce it. Uno reverse card. Rule three cardio. Yeah, exactly. Need, I would need to get some more cardio. I'm not. A, I'm not a zombie apocalypse prepper. I'm not a part of that scene. With your own eyes. Now we have a voice. What's going on in the game? Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread Anyone else kind words. of like rationally annoyed about zombie apocalypse media where it's like no matter what if you hit a zombie in the head they're dead. It's like Surely, at some point in in the whole history of like shooting zombies in the head, a bullet would go through a zombie's brain, and the zombie would be like, "Eh, you didn't hit enough gray matter. I'm actually gonna tank this one and keep going," right? Like, 
It's like, no, one hit to the head, oh, I'm done. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you would think now and then. Now and then a zombie would be like, no, I need a... You, it's true, you did get me in the head. <laughs> I'm gonna need at least another good shot in the head before I go down. <laughs> you know, like... Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> My brain is small and able to dodge bullets penetrating my head. Exactly. Exactly. People in chat who don't own a plunger and do not own a fire extinguisher would just make the most, like, like badass zombies. Like, it's like, oh man. You need to hit, like, Hi. center ahead to oh, get there, uh, them in the brain. Hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <sighs> yep. That was me. I like to be here, too. You can see the whole room. And it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. All right. <laughs> Whoa. You okay? Do you own a gun? I do not own a gun. I'm in Canada, I'm not America. No. Sorry, I'm just kind of. If sick. I lived in America, ah, uh, that's a hard one. Would I own a gun if I lived in America? If I did, I would keep it. I feel like maybe no, actually. It depends where where in America I live. I think if I lived in America and I lived in in like a rural place, I think I would want I would want like a probably a shotgun or something just in case something comes to the house. I wouldn't I wouldn't want it for people. Um, I think that if anyone ever if anyone ever like broke into my house or whatever, I think the panic would set in so much that I wouldn't even I wouldn't even think to use the gun. It would just it would just be completely insane. Um, so I don't I don't think it's worth it actually. I, I think I would probably go with no. But if I, I've never lived in America, so I'm not sure if I would feel that same way after staying there for a while. But if I did have one, it would be like, like super locked up, which again, makes it so difficult if, if there was ever a house invader, right? Ooh, good coffee. Oh, that sucks. Oh, have you ever used a gun before? No, I, I have not, no. Too bad. <coughs> I would like to shoot a gun though. That sounds like an interesting time. I have four what guns in my house. Well, I have two eye. guns right here. Well, you can't see them though. Story. That's okay. Oh, flexing. My name is. Sarah I can't Lee. see them either though, What's so it's yours? fine. Hello, Sarah Lee. Sarah my Lee. Oh my God. Good to meet you. By the way. Do you know Richard Lambert? Can I ask you, you something? Are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's her mother, Lisbeth. She Sir was Lee is dead by, by the next two hours. Oh, yeah. She was my in, in game time, it's even <laughs> quicker than ever that. Sin. The Lord guides her. That cross is going to crush her or something. What is this place? This is our home. Our church Plot and community. Cough. The Reverend Mother says we are all chosen by God. Daniel, you, your superpowers can do anything. You can heal people too. Sara Lee has a tumor. Use use your mind powers to rip it out of her. What could go wrong? What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle. And the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. Is he? He missed you so much for his birthday. It was it his birthday? It would be like a late surprise. Uh-oh. Did you bring your present for my birthday, Sean? While well, I was in the hospital missing my eye and on the run from police. Oh, but no present, huh? Well, now I'm angry at you. Daniel, we got veggies of their faith and mine. I know you understand. I guess I mean Sean? Oh my Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. It'll grow back. Did that happen at the farm? No. Because of me? No. 
I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Did Finn this, do this to you? What happened to your hair? I warned you, it's the past. Not your fault. Not your fault. Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have... It's okay. Does it... hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your hair, guy. Shut up. <laughs> it's different. I kind of like it. Sean, Little tattoo boy throwing some you stones. Leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And it's okay. We're together now. Together. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I. We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But we don't need to. We have a new home now. Uh oh. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. Oh, okay. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but this is actually getting interesting. Why didn't? Why wasn't this just like? Okay, you couldn't rush into this episode, though. This is actually getting interesting. Okay. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return, Sean. You must be a believer. You know why it's getting interesting? Because there's conflict. My God, who knew there's conflict? Now I'm not one. I'm not so conflict pilled that I think that every single story must absolutely 100% have conflict to work. Like I like most do, but I think you could, you know, you could make it work if if you know with enough finesse. But there's actually conflict now. S someone else has taken a parental role over the powerful child, and now like it's like now Sean is up against something that he has absolutely no preparation for, and it's going to be really difficult for him to navigate this with like family ties. Is that is that stronger than than this person who is just like like I see an opportunity here to exploit someone's powers? You know, maybe she even thinks that it, that she he is sent from from God, so she has so much motivation to just like cause a rift between between the brothers here. Like yeah, this is interesting. All right, I'm sure it's going to be handled well now in our lord too kind of not really kind of not really kind of not really not really well not really no <sighs> daniel told me but i was praying you saw the light but first i need sarah lee and Daniel, One eye, by the way. to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel, now. Okay. Excuse me? Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Here we go. Well, Sean. Get the fuck out of here, Sean. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. Oh, but so God was. what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. Mexico with Daniel, God or you, stay here a while. Okay, so is the game going to let me... make Sean be intelligent here and fly under the radar and not cause conflict and leave or by saying stay here a while am I go along with the bullshit like I want to be able to like like Mexico with Daniel God are you these are insane options like maybe I could stay here for a while you know I am impressed by your drive and devotion but small is the gate and narrow the way what what are we talking about i've heard about what you did in california what? how you pushed your brother into felony this is a terrible sin and until you make penance for it i can't accept you here excuse what? me are you serious i'm sorry my son i'm not your son and Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Oh, okay, Daniel? never mind. All right. Come on. Why don't we ask him? 
what he wants to do. Do not touch me. What the fuck? Oh, she's dead. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood. Wait, what? It is like Daniel using his powers to keep her upright or something? Like what's what's going on? Ports. Sean. What happened? Your brother came in here impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved. Sean, fucking speak. She rushed at me, grabbed me, I shrugged her off, and she just dropped to the floor like as Chad is saying, a soccer player. Sean, what do you just oh my god. Never mind. Daniel. This is shit. She's right. You showed up and look what happened. Okay, honestly, Sean, like just peace out. Daniel can handle this by himself. I will pray for you. This isn't worth it. And she's trying to manipulate Just me. leave. Let me lead you to the one true light. I would honestly just leave. Goes out. I'm not I kidding. I would just leave. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. <clears throat> I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> Let me go, ask. What was that animation? That expression? And his response is, get off me, dude? Oh. <laughs> Daniel! Oh, no. They're not your family. Stop it. You just family. need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! In our church suits. <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? All right, thank you, Ken. Now don't you ever come back. Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. What the hell? I'm just getting up! What? What are you, you saying don't come back? Will I have to get up to leave? Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. Oh no, I wouldn't this want to do that. Private property. Oh, you're I have gun. a legal right to stop any intruders. Like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here. This is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Get out of here. In this situation, who's the asshole? What do you mean? Like Daniel or Sean? Daniel's not an asshole. Dan Daniel is a kid. Daniel has been through a lot and he's been indoctrinated into this place right now. And like Daniel's not an asshole. Like, I, I don't really see a way out of this for Sean though. Um, Sean is being an idiot. So I guess Sean is kind of being an asshole because he's being really stupid. However, Sean is also pretty, pretty young. So I don't know. After, I just feel like, how many months has it been on the run? This this is the real problem of Sean right now, okay? The real problem is that Sean has been on the run for this for months now, and I feel like he hasn't gotten any smarter whatsoever. Usually, when someone is in this kind of situation, they either, they either learn a lot quite quickly, or they just completely shit the bed and fail. And he didn't completely shit the bed and fail, so I feel like he should have learned a lot. And he hasn't. He just feels like he... It feels like this is day one of Sean being on the run, you know? Like, he hasn't learned any instincts about how to judge people or anything like that. Um, so I feel like that that's the part that's not ringing true. So, again, like, if this was, like, episode two after like a brief run runaway from the, the, the authorities in episode one after the dad died, this would make a lot of sense. Um, but it doesn't. And I wonder if it was originally written that way, and that's why it doesn't make any sense. Like, Sean hasn't learned fucking anything. Daniel, hey! Your five from proper food and sleeping does affect your brain, bad. Sean. Hey, he just had a nap and a sandwich with the truck. Trucker guy. Come on. Karen? Who the fuck are- Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? You won't get him back like this. Ooh. Ooh. Is it a hallucination? Let's go. Damn. 
Funny I uh, ran into you. I was just driving down the street. Have you met my other son, Brody? No way, this is a, this is not a dream. This is real. Why is this bad? Daniel's famous in local area now. She would have heard about. It. Then why aren't like their police here come for Daniel? Right? Like if if she knows about it, then the authorities would too. FBI is actively looking for her, for him. Maybe this time I'm about to understand. Sean, what happened to your eye? Glass. Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. Who? He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. <laughs> So you finally decided to check on it. How did Jacob know how to write her? Did Daniel have the letter with the P.O. box on it, not Sean? You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're going to have to talk. Where are we even going? <laughs> what did she just say? Excuse me. This is terrible. <laughs> I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. How are they gonna justify the mom not being in their lives? When Daniel was born, a senior member of the League of Psychics came and spoke to me and told me that he just knew that Daniel was telekinetic and also psychic. And he told me that, that I had to not be a part of their lives. And if I ever, if I ever, you know, met Daniel, then the world would end or something. Like, so I had to stay away. It, you know, I had good reasons, but now, fuck it. I'm just going to risk it because he's in trouble, I guess. I don't fucking know. Like... Oh, she bought you new clothes. Was this necessary? Man. Didn't clean the paint. Man. A change of clothes. That felt good. Do 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 Damn. Damn. You look bad. Damn. Gotta change that dressing soon. Okay. Do we have the uh we have the drugs for it? I think we do, right? Karen seems to be on the move quite often. You no, know, he has to wash that towel, right? Oh, tell me you weren't here for the beginning of the stream without telling me you weren't here for the beginning of the stream? I still think you should, yeah. Because ideally, yeah. Why not? Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's... Miracles? I know I shouldn't peek, but... Condoms? Whatever. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Did her own road 
trip to get here. <sighs> wow. Turning forward to look back, making the same choice twice, twice, my solitude days and dreamy nights just to find myself looking forward to turn back. K. Okay. All right, mom is cringe as fuck. Damn. Can't spell Karen or cringe without K. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing sore. I remember, know the feeling, there's no fighting back that beating, tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee, red eye truckers, and sad families, bad eggs, not the waitress's fault. She is a quick, hurried one, probably ending a long night shift. Oh, this isn't a poem. Tag says Clementine, 22 ish, redhead dyed brunette. Eyebrows and skin tone don't lie. Irish descent? Owner's daughter, maybe? Mahonies. Mahonies? Mahoney. Vague, polite smile, busy mind, mildly clumsy, looks distracted, anxious. Young cook called her Clemmy. Brother? Boyfriend? Boyfriend. Apologizes when the orders are late and she's the one getting roasted. Do mom and dad know you're dating on the job, Clemmy? Mixing up work and love seldom makes a good match. But that that a brand new baby bump under the stained apron? It's 2017 and young folks are still busy making babies. I guess nothing ever really changes, says the woman who had two kids and abandoned them. So hold on. So she is this aware of the world and does this much people watching and seems to be so keen on, on like, like reading the the interpersonal relationships between people and one of the first things she says to her strange son that she abandoned was you know we're gonna have to talk eventually I hate her so Karen did check it out wonder if she saw Daniel in action She's probably in there when this we were in there. just way too big. True, America is is very large. Bibbly? Yeah. I bet every guest can't wait to read this. Placed here by Gideon. Oh man, more condoms. The casino. What are these pants? Karen was always into low tech. What? I even think it's the one she had back then. What? What do you mean? She's analog, not digital? This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. Canada's pretty large. Shoot. I think Canada is bigger than the United States, isn't it? Yeah, Canada's huge. But, um, Canada is not bigger than the United States in terms of land that is actually properly. Uh, habitable, you know, like, and you can actually go and see it, you know, and still be a part of civilization. America wins on that, like, like, I don't know, 50 times over or something, like, maybe even more than that, I don't know. We've come a long, long way, buddy. Canada is the second largest country. Well, it used to be number one until um, Russia took over doing something. I remember that. Or maybe I'm misremembering. I remember that being told to me at some point. Maybe they were wrong. Okay, Daniel has been brainwashed by a cult. He wants to stay with them, and I fucked up with this reverence. So I just fell right into a trap. You're, you're an idiot. I'm so stupid. Also, Karen, what the fuck is she doing here? How did she find us? I don't want anything to do with her. Nada. Not... Not a... Day asshole? I don't know. Nada? What does that stand for? Karen's note. I, I know what it means. Right I know what chat chat. I swear to God. We'll I know what out. it means. I say that word sometimes Jeez. Popped out for now supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to, to eat new shit. socks and shorts in the bathroom All yours if they fit might be a good time to contact Jacob His number is on the later the letter he sent be right back Karen. Why did Jacob take them to the to the to the church? Dear Mrs. Diaz, my name is Jacob, and I'm here to say, and I worked with your sons, Sean, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. There were some problems, and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address, so if you get this, I'll th I think th I think Daniel might be in danger. Um, he needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number, 775-555-0118. Please hurry. Thank you, Jacob. All right. Don't we have this letter? 
Maybe we don't. Sean, we are grateful to find that you are safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Humboldt con con County. We wanted to visit you in the hospital, but Steven's leg had to recover after surgery, and I didn't want to go by myself because I don't really like you. He's finally walking again. We also want you to recover ASAP, and the doctors say that you came out of that coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help, help find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. We hope to visit you in Jolina Shore as soon as we can. Take care, Claire and Steven. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. Okay, where is it? Hi, Sean and Daniel. I don't care. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. How is this not the last episode? I'm not going out. Okay. Better wait for Karen in here. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Struggles with too many app open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing. Geolocation password is hope you find your son. What? One, one, two, seven, oh, eight. Hey, technology. She came prepared. Bali. Welcome to your new life at the Universal Uprising Church Haven Point. Okay, just a bunch of bullshit about the, the, the church. Brother and mother doesn't look too humble. One of the great mysteries of Nevada is how it balances the Holy Spirit with the Holy Dollar. A few tourists traveler, okay. Looks like a roach motel. Nice pool, but dusty as fuck. But nice roadside motel, cool staff. Nobody will find me there. Beds are super uncomfortable, but it's cheap. All right. That's it. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. You're already there. Shouldn't it be here? Okay. I got a few moments to myself, so time to smoke. Let's practice. Really? Let's do some drawing. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long ride. <sighs> Just look around you, dude. There must be interesting details to add up. I guess that's an okay start. Oh my god. But I can keep going. Yeah. Is the drawing one of the worst gameplay mechanics you've encountered? No, nah, I wouldn't go that far. It's just, just kind of pointless. Like, you gotta remember, Binding of Isaac exists. start drawing if I don't look at the subject first. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's it coming from? All right, back to reality, dude.
Oh, that wasn't it. I thought I thought that was like we're gonna do that and then she's gonna come back. All right, what am I supposed to do? Go back in the bathroom. Keychain. Time to hit up Jake. Kind of pretty. Wonder if she made it. Okay, back in we go. All right, here I am. Time for shower number two. Can reuse that same towel? No? All right. Guess not. Call Jacob. What? On the phone? Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Oh, on this phone. All right. Hey, Jacob, what are you wearing? Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brady Highway. There's a... Wouldn't it have been better if they spent the last episode setting up Jacob as a proper fucking character instead of it being like this this no-name character that they actually made jokes about? Who the fuck are you being the one that took Daniel away? Like, like I feel like maybe that was supposed to be like a subversion, but like, like you can't... I don't think you should spend time subverting like expectations when it comes to, oh, this character ends up being secretly important when you don't have any interesting characters to begin with. Like... You're already scraping the fucking bottom of the barrel. I still don't remember who Jacob is. Jacob was like like in the background and in, in the scene when they realize that Daniel has powers and they show Finn and, and Cassidy and Jacob's like, oh, I'm gonna walk around now. Bye. Uh, just above point. You skipped all all dialogues to Jacob. Well, that's what I mean. Like they shouldn't have made them optional. They, like he should have been a part of the a part of the crew. And like there should have been some like non optional conversations with him. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Do 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 Alright, why can't you talk? What could possibly be that very talk? Yeah, he said that, yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, this is so messed up. So messed up. Karen's note. Be right back. We'll find out. Okay, now what? Wait for Karen to come back. All right, I'm waiting. I'm so drained. Why don't you have a sleep? Wait for Karen. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. I just if she didn't. <laughs> Shows up for the first time in like 10 years. Drives you to the hotel. Hey, sorry it took so long. I'm the out again, bye. The store was packed. Yeah, fucking store. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah, I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion, right? That'll do. That'll do, Karen. That'll do. Joe, please, don't you ever play boring games on streams? Well, what are we doing now? Gotcha. Sorry, just sometimes I can't help myself. I just have to play a boring game. You know? I look at it, and I see it on Steam, and I'm like, this is a boring game, but you know what? I'm gonna start this playthrough. Sorry, I just can't help myself. Some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. The subtext there, Chad, hey, is that he didn't know it was down. going to be this boring, and now he's committed. Or at least take a breath. Like you care. <laughs> Sean. Sean. Yeah. I do. 
Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. You played VLR and started this? Yeah, VLR is pretty good. The part for the ending. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Yeah. Not with me. When Daniel I was the got one who broke your leg. A couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk. Yeah, because let's we talk. do have to get your brother out of a cult. Uh huh. I'm listening. Okay. How did you two survive alone on the road? What? What are you doing? Explain where you were. For that long. Got some help. Dad taught us. We almost didn't. We almost didn't. We just kept moving. And nobody helped you along the way? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why. If you care. Okay, then go for it. So, ask me anything. Oh, okay. Are you the asshole? Why did you leave? All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy. And the urge to leave just became unbearable. What? I had no other choice. Are you- What do you mean you had no other choice? Serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choice. Still not as bad as Joyce, though. Choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Yeah. It felt like an empty shell. I need to go discover myself and smoke some sure. pot and have sex it with people. It was the hardest decision I ever made. Nah. I knew I might never see you all again. Nah. I took that responsibility. Dad knew? Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but <gasps> it wasn't about him. It was me. He was so much better than you. He wouldn't talk about what you did. Like, when I asked why you left, he just said you had to go live your own life. He was right about that. You're just so fucking selfish. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No, I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and mm -hmm. said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Arizona? Holy shit. He's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so. So I need to hear, he has to be copying offbeat purposely, right? What beat? It's a fucking washing machine jingle. At any point in the jingle when it starts, I just start clapping and then I clap at the exact same interval from then on. I don't try and time it with the music. It's just whenever it starts, I just go, oh, and I start clapping and then the same fucking interval between each fucking clap from then on. That's it. That's all I do. There's no fucking, what? It's a fucking washing machine. Yeah. Okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be. And that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. <sighs> For what it's worth. I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not what? We I'm not. We're a real family. Without you. Well, Esteban was meant to be a father. And I wasn't. I knew he would take care of you the way you deserve. Except he's dead. 
We've got no one left. Rare to see anti mom rider can meet it. Yeah, it is actually pretty rare. Um, in in general, oh, is this true? Actually, I feel like I feel like they're um they're getting away from this now. I don't know. I don't think I could support this claim, but I'm gonna say it anyway. And maybe if it rings true to a lot of people, then maybe I, that I'm onto something. It, especially in '90s and early 2000s media. And I don't know if it's. I haven't really paid attention to a lot of stuff since then. Um, uh, women in media tend to be a lot more simple and not that complexly written and are shown to be the more complete kind of person where it's usually the man that is kind of bumbling and flawed and needs to have a lot of attention and character growth and 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 the woman is just like waiting for the man to grow up kind of thing um and i think this this is this is just actually just sexist like it's not just sexist uh, against men which are shown against like being like incomplete and lesser it's sexist against women because it's showing that women aren't aren't complicated and don't need character growth and they absolutely do um and i feel like uh as time goes on we're getting better at this um, and I think that's why a lot of people don't know how to write uh, uh, women characters. Um, so yeah, it is interesting here. This is still pretty bad because it's just it just doesn't seem true to me at all. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you went back in that era and you looked at more highbrow stuff, you're you're gonna find more complex women that are flawed and and need to grow. But uh, in most like like easy watching stuff. It's the men that are usually the focus and, and the women are just kind of like complete and don't need any work. The flaw is, is not loving the men enough usually. Yeah, maybe. You say you hate VLR, would you say you're mixed on, on it? Please, this is very important. Uh, definitely more mixed. I kind of hate it, but but more mixed, I think, overall. Because the first, like, 75% of Sean, VLR is really good. Whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Thank you for the bits, Riley. Let's just get it all out. There's a lot of bits. Holy crap, thank you so much. Nice wolf tattoo. Did you miss us? What did you do? Why ghost us? I mean... I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay, but why would you ghost us like that? Do you have any sympathy for this mom's actions whatsoever? <sighs> Without context, it's really hard to say yes to that. I think that the mom's situation could be sympathetic. Like, if you really truly cannot be a parent... I think there is a way that you can look at that and go, yeah, the, the my family really would be better off without me. It's going to be exceedingly rare, but I think that there is uh, like room for that to to exist. That yeah, I I'm going to be bad for these people, and they're better off without me. I think that could happen. Um, the fact that she never contacted them ever or whatever, and like, I, was she sending the dad money? Like, was she paying child support? Like anything like that? that's the part that would that i think is is like indefensible like it's it's still her kids but if they if she had an agreement with the other parent maybe it would be fine i don't know i think there is a way to make this sympathetic and it's fine but right now I, i'm not i'm not i'm not vibing with it man not even a fucking birthday card i just i thought if i vanished you would all move on but i wanted to contact you guys so many times you went out without shoes on? I almost did. You wanted a clean break. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. You hurt him worse. I wasn't so lucky. Uh... Hurt him worse. Cool plan, Mom. You cool. heard Daniel way worse. Cool plan, Mom. He thought you took off because of him. I know. 
And I hope you, I can make it up to you. And you never came Something. to correct him about that? No? I can start by getting his app. Wait, what the fuck? It's out of that church. Cult. Thing. Whatever. Yep. Did you miss us? Every day. So, did you ever actually Every day. miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He also he had a big a rainy day. That was like his superpower. Yeah, that was pretty based. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. Your loss. Well, that's your loss. <laughs> I don't expect you to believe me. But I mean it. Who's a better dad, William or Esteban? They're both the same character, just with a different name. So I'd say they're about e even. What did you do? So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. Are you a better dad? Am I a better dad than the dad specifically written to be the tragic, oh my god, this 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 phenomenal supernatural dad that was too good for this world and is cut down in his prime in order to make a character have a fucking, like, an actual, like, like uh, sympathetic story and a great loss in their life. Am I better than that dad? Yeah, of course I am, yeah. I'm a fucking great dad. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School. I don't job, do modern life. Marriage, I was born in the wrong era. Dad, they wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Sounds immature. Worth it? Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> For now, I found my place in the world. With like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. So inspiring. <laughs> that's so inspiring. I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. I was talking to um, to some people about this yesterday. Uh, I think it was yesterday. We we're talking about um, the racist characters in uh, in Disco Elysium, and we were talking a little bit about how how Measurehead. Uh, and I wasn't sure if I was rem remembering it properly, but how Measurehead is just so just so calmly and just stoically racist. Like he's just so sure um, that there's like this racial hierarchy in the world that. It's like he's just he just kind of like yeah that's just how it is you know what I mean like it's and and he just so and it's a source of like a great amount of stability and confidence for him that that he has this this, this sort of thing I think that's the character right and like like this character is just like that only for being a deadbeat mom like I can't I can't believe it like if they if 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 Sean encountered a racist that had this kind of kind of uh attitude I think that would like be an interesting kind of character and, and a really bad thing for him to go through you know what I mean like like holy shit measure head of bad moms yeah like I got I got a hand it to I don't think I've ever ever like in any media book movie TV show like 
seen a deadbeat parent at all who who is just so this so like yeah this is what i did i don't give a fuck and that was the right decision and just like you just don't understand one day you will i guess like like god damn she's cold whatever you sound so careless yeah it's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused i do care that's why i'm here you don't though to help you and your brother if i didn't step up to help him now i couldn't live with myself here's some money oh it's smoking okay yeah you smoke why do you have to smoke go back inside ask for a smoke yeah i want to smoke hey um Mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. Oh, she's cool. All right, never mind. I take it back. Hmm. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Your dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. No oh, man, Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want. Do you think the game is trying to make us feel for the mom, which is kind of not good? I think maybe they are, but also I feel like they they just couldn't have the mom be in the picture at the beginning because otherwise the kids would just go to the mom at the at the start. So they had to separate the mom and dad so the mom could come back later and they could have this. And instead of it being like set up and they made it a part of the story, like, oh, there's going to be a good reason for it. There's going to be this big heart to heart. There's going to be, it's going to be a plot point and we can, and we can have some story revolving around the mom coming back. Instead, it's just like, we need a reason for the mom to be away. Uh, maybe she just left, I guess. And we can just put a couple lines of dialogue when they meet up above, like, and like one scene and that's the end of it. You know, like, it just uh, is, like well, uh, this is why even have it be the mom at the I don't know I don't know let's see let's maybe they'll justify it. I don't know to die an early death fuck life can be so cynical sometimes I mean I believe people are like this okay so this is something that I got wrong like and I should correct myself about it like when I when I was saying earlier like with with some of the encounters with racists that Sean had uh, earlier in the game like those people absolutely do exist of course but like like almost anything exists it's about how it's used and how plausible it is to be in the story you know like like pretty much anything is going to could be found in in real life but just because almost anything can be found in real life doesn't mean that it has has its place in the story and can just be like just thrown in you know fine you know um i don't know i guess it comes down to is does it does it ring true is it got a good point does it is it interesting and it, does it feel forced and I, I don't think this feels forced it just is again just kind of dull You could randomly walk around a corner and someone could kill you for no reason. Why would you put on story? Yeah, like, yeah, like if stories were really true to true to life, as you can like if you read like the story of, of the history of the world, you will see lots of, of of characters, you know, who were real people, but in this context, they're characters. And it's like, yeah, and he was going toward the final battle, and then just out of nowhere, he had a heart attack and died. La Mayo, you know, like 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 people just flop over all the time, you know, like oh he was about to, he was about to 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 break uh, his his brother out of uh out of uh the the church cult but it turns out that because of the burger that his mom gave him earlier he he had an upset stomach and he was too busy throwing up all night so they had to postpone it for for a week for a day you know like um Although if a game ever did that, if a game ever just had like someone just like just flop over in a scene because it's just <laughs> how would you do that? at that point it's like D and D right? It's like um, you know every single scene. Can you please roll a D one thousand to see if any of you have a random brain aneurysm explode in your head right now and that's the end of your character? All right, here we go. Bum 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 bum. Oh, sorry, you rolled a thousand. That's it. You're dead. If only you had rolled nine 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 or higher. You know, like it's like I, I think I would kind of respect that. That would be kind of funny. I've had that thought um, of writing a story before, and, and every single time that I get to a certain point in the, in the, in the story, just rolling some dice to see what would happen next and see where that where that takes me. But I think that would be pretty unsatisfying and if i ever got a bad role i would be like no fuck it i want to do what's interesting for me instead i remember he would smoke sometimes long ago 
We didn't fight much, but when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And I would just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Oh yeah, Lila. Sitting on the porch. Lila seemed like an interesting character. Wish we could have spent some time, time with Lila. That's when you know someone is good to you. Episode 1 should have been school stuff, actually going to the party, meeting all these characters, and then at the end of the episode, oh, you thought this was going to be like the strange one? Boom, no motherfucker, dad's dead, now we're in prison, what the fuck is going on? And then episode 2 should have been this, and then, and then you take the story from there. But I've never made a Life is Strange game, so I'm not allowed to say what they should have done. Alright, what a, what a nice scene. At least we get music. Also, you're not French. I'm a little French. But then how do you put the weed farms into the equation? Here's the fun part, you don't. What a waste of time that was. I live in Canada. I'm a, like a little French from Canada. Or are you minus doing the no weed farm part? Am I supposed to hit a button here? We should go back. Inside. Oh, sorry. I gotta change this dressing. Okay, let's go. See the handles of the bag compress before his hand got there. There, damn. Anyone else on on Discord yesterday hear me get fucking Christopher judged out of my acceptance speech for Outer Wilds? Music wasn't that loud on my end. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Oh god, here we go. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. No. No, I don't. Not after what you did. But I'll still work with you. But yes. <laughs> we have to. Just no choices. Zero choices. To be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. David Cage does this so much better. Man, especially in Detroit Become Human. Detroit Become Human has so many different branching choices and shit. It's actually interesting. Like, it's legit interesting in Detroit Become Human. Oh, fuck. Okay. Why give me the choice if you're not going to just have oh. it? Just have them talk. We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these. Do you think she thinks that amethyst on her neck is like gives her like special energy or whatever? Okay. Got to attune to my eye. crystal bullshit. So, do you need any help with that? Uh, no. No. I got this. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Not really. Gotcha. If this keeps up, you'll compliment Helen Neighbor soon. Here, I, I try this on. honestly can't think of a single thing that I... You got us an iPad... I, I can't think of a single thing that I could say Hello Neighbor does well. Like, it doesn't even control well. Chloe would love this. It's true! Life is Strange 2, we get to be a pirate. 
How do I look? Yar. Great. Thanks. You look like... Who is this making me think of? Someone from a game. Shit. There was someone from a game that, that kind of had an eye patch like that. Majima? No, not Majima. He looks like the guy that's holding the people hostage at the beginning of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Did he have an eye patch? At the end of the hostage situation. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to get Daniel. You're right, I don't want to kill this hostage, but I'm gonna need two more reasons to get out of here without spilling blood before I'll leave, Jensen. All right, I'll see you later in Detroit. You sure he's gonna show up? No. He better. He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, Wait, we'll find him. You just don't need a bandage anymore? You should have the bandage underneath the eye patch, right? I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Because of you. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Yeah. Start I with yourself. Stop hitting yourself that. round two. Sweet Here you go. Encounters. What's with these weird birds in the background again? again oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Little rascal. He's special. Cool kid. Cool kid. He's a cool little kid. I just didn't want him to grow up so fast. It's good you were there for him. Heads up. Is that him? I don't know. Yep. How do you know? Wait here. How do you know yep? You can't even see him. What do you mean? That is John, not the same model. What that, is, that is a different person. Can you explain? What were you thinking? What? Can you ex uh, Jake, I'm not mad. What? You better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. So you took him to church? Then I heard all these sirens and... I got scared. Yoshi, I just I packed a few not, things. I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Stole my cash. <laughs> That's not what he said at all. Whatever. Oh, so you took my brother and my money. Better me than the cops. Yeah. Idiot! <laughs> you have no idea what he looked like. Alright, we've now entered the arc of me not caring so much that I'm gonna make Sean say stupid shit and then make fun of him for it. This is what we're doing now, chat. I don't give a fuck anymore. He was in bad shape <laughs> with a gunshot wound and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. So you came back here? What about the others? So you came back here after you escaped. But with a dazed little boy, and everybody was cool with Why that. Why are you mad? He Trust saved me, your brother. It's not an easy thing for me to come back. You're more mad at him than you're mad at your and mom. Yeah, they took us in. Mom, why That's aren't you out here. here? They take people in. They take people in. Except they didn't yeah. want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. What? The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. Nah. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. You did nothing? I'm not afraid of her. You did nothing? Did you even try to stop her? Sean, stop it. <laughs> Why did you think I wrote to your mother? Okay. Oh, come on. Can I have the money back? There's no way they're going to let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not going to ask for their permission. Yeah. He must be Jacob. 
I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this. Time to crash the market. Uh, I have an idea. What's your idea? I think school must be over by now. But uh, Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. Okay. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. What? One more thing. What's what's the plan? No, it doesn't it doesn't sound like a plan. It sounds like details. It doesn't sound like there's a plan at all. How about the part of the plan that we talk about is that we we have to go and fucking like like take a, a bratty little telekinetic that doesn't want to come with us. How are we getting him out of the fucking church when he's like has super godlike powers and he doesn't want to go? How about we talk about that part of the I uh we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. How is your sister, She's bro? With your parents. I know. Please listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. Then why did you bring Daniel here? They believe in everything Elizabeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand. Right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Damn. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee. Oh, it's right there. Daniel. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. Sure. I'm going to trust you on this, Jacob. <laughs> All good for you, Karen. <laughs> what if Daniel won't go with you? I swear to God, if we don't get our money back. I swear to God. You will. I know him. He won't. No, you don't know him. No. The exact opposite, actually. He watched some guy take you away from the room in a headlock. Didn't get our money back. Still didn't get the money back. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. Dead. We gotta be careful now. No, we don't. Happens. Let me do the talking. There's okay? no consequences. Yeah, of course. All right. Let's get this over. I I don't have my money. I I actually right really do not have the money. In and out. All right. Okay. I'm following you, Jacob. Here Are you we go. Sure, Lizbeth will have those files on your sister. Boom! 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 Oh shit! Boom! Boom! How many? Boom! 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 How is how is Karen just suddenly like a spy? What the fuck is this shit? Like she's doing recon. Alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. Boom. Boom. People aren't boom, supposed to boom. come and go. Around. Is this a trap? Maybe I hope so. W trap who? Trap Daniel here after they kicked him out? What do you mean is a trap? I hope so, cause that would be hilarious. Church, once the service is over, better to boom, avoid them. If boom, 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 boom. Finally, to let to this house. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, we're way out of their cone of view. What are you doing, Jacob? Jacob, what are you doing? We're going around the long way. Dun, 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 dun. dun. So. Good thing I scouted the place before. Did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. I'm expecting to see Karen kind of. squatting at one of these senses right now, to to smoking a cigarette while she's looking through like like a telescope. Greetings, fellow weeb. Dude, 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 dude. Okay. Really? We went down the stairs there instead of jumping over that. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. 
closed door is a closed heart, she says. What do you mean? I knocked no one was here. All right. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there. Do you the lock office. the front door? Absolutely. Oh, of course. Chat, you have to lock your front door. I'm not going to get Y's and question marks for that, right? You got to lock your front door. It's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We got to find a way in. Fuck. You think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's... This is the lockpicking cult member. cautious not to have a spare set around. Just kick it down. It's a flimsy fucking door. Just kick it down. Oh, Both of you together whoa. can kick this down. Must be a way to break it. Yeah. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no. It, it's just... Confide and convince? Fifth evening in here must be so much fun. Hmm. Lizbeth sure likes paranoid to... Yeah, I'm a paranoid germaphobe because I like to have my towels clean and I lock my front door. It's true. I won't deny it. I'm, I'm tired of hiding it, actually. Damn. This is so... artless. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Yep, it's true. She read the manual. The moat and the bean. What? <gasps> All right, we got a fire extinguisher. Mm. Do I see a Might plunger? Be to open that door. I see a toilet brush. No water in this toilet. I mean, toilet brush is, is better than nothing, but you really need a plunger. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Ooh. He cut his hair, so let's leave the scissors and the hair on the bathtub. It's been here for about a week, I guess, maybe even longer. And then we're going to have him say, we're going to find it, and then say, it makes much more sense now. Who decided that was a... Th this is a lot of pills. We need to solve the mystery of how Especially Daniel got his hair cut. who doesn't believe in science. I mean... No, but okay. No bidet. Wow, there's a heating vent. Lot, lot of technology here for heating a house, especially for someone who believes in, doesn't believe in science. Wow, a musical instrument. Looks electric. That's science. Why do they have that? Huh. A lamp. Whoa. Using power from the power grid? That's weird for someone who believes in God. Yeah, that will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. Sean, is everything all right in there? Uh, yes. Yeah. Close the drawer. Okay. I found a key. Good. Did he just close it twice? There's like the sound of it being closed, and then they showed it. Let's try it. My God, Daniel! Ah! <laughs> Jacob, we need to leave. He knows we're here. Oh my God, he's just taunting us. His powers have gotten too strong. Quickly through the window. Nice prison view, dude. I swear, even her bed looks stern. <laughs> Wait, what? It's just a made bed. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Yeah, who wouldn't be? It's amazing! Daniel tired after using gift. Nothing gives him energy after. New diet? What? 
so it does use calories. He acts on his own. Scripture won't impel him. More prayer, more study. Daniel pouty today after lessons. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Not yet. Must show grace. Trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. The child must be a vessel. What will he deliver unto us? And and when? Who makes their bed? New debate. You joke, but I was going there. Like, you all make your bed, right? It takes, like, literally 10 seconds, and then you can use the bed as, like, to put stuff on for the rest of the day. And, like, when you go to bed later, it's, like, you know, it's it's a little nicer to get to, to settle down. Like, why would you not make your bed? It takes 10 seconds. It's literally pointless. Why? Because you're going to mess it up again later? Oh, so, like, why have a shower? I'm just going to get sweaty again later? Why eat? I'm just going to get hungry later. Oh, that was for da Jacob to do. Straw man? No, it isn't. It isn't. It's the exact same thing. Okay, the, 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 the food one is definitely a straw man because you'll die if you don't, if you don't eat. Um, but like fucking like, like showering. Why, why fucking clean my clothes? They're just going to fucking get dirty later. You die too if you don't shower. No, you don't. There's plenty of people alive in chat right now. Just, it takes 10 seconds. Why would you not do it? Does she even believe in any of this? Did she teach Daniel how to play this? Whoa. They kicked her out of church? Oh no. Now they're thirsty. Dear Reverend Fisher, this is Michael Bloom, and I know it's been a long time since we last talked, and I know our talk was not a happy one. Despite our differences, we all knew you were a devout spirit to be reckoned with. Nobody has been surprised by your words and deeds touching so many people. I hope you believe it when I say we are all proud of you, but we are also sorry and ashamed for asking you to leave the church without understanding the power of your faith. As we need to remind ourselves, mistakes can be life lessons. Even prideful deacons should be humbled uh, before the Lord's wisdom. It's a, it's a decoy deacon. We hope that you find it in your heart to forgive us and we'd be honored to host you for a visit anytime you wish. Bless you, Michael. Ooh. When did this come in after the Daniel thing, maybe? Don't see any. Me not showering, bothering other people around me. Me not making my bed doesn't affect anyone else. So you only shower for other people. You don't shower for yourself. You don't shower to be clean and feel clean and like feel fresh throughout the whole entire day and not feel like a fucking month. What? What do you mean? Yes. You, if no, if you weren't smelly, if you weren't smelly, you wouldn't shower. Dear God. Of interest. What a great fucking family. <laughs> this is terrifying. Did we search this drawer? Oh, shit. Oh. Looks like the oh. Reverend Mother got this letter before Jake. Jacob, thank you so much for telling me about Daniel. Uh, I'm on my way to Haven Point now, and please let Daniel know, without getting him or you in trouble, that his family has not forgotten him. I don't know where Sean is, and I hope we can find him too. I hope the best for you. If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask for help. I'm there. Wait, what, what, wait, what, what? How did, how did, how was this intercepted? What? Excuse me? I don't, I don't get it. Call Karen with your walkie-talkie by holding LBA. Okay, here we go. Hey, I found your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lisbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn that woman. Yeah. She checks everything that comes and goes into the community. Listen, if it took 10 minutes to make your bed, honestly, even if it was as high as 5, alright? I would be on board with, you know what, is it really worth it? But it takes so little time and effort to make your bed. And then you can use the bed to like put stuff on for the rest of the day, lay out your clothes nicely as you're getting ready after your shower, you know? Like, I understand that as as a parent, I have, I have like, 
an additional reason to to make the bed to not just set a good example for for the, for the kids, but also like so the kids aren't jumping into a, a messy bed, you know, whatever if they come into our room, um, which they typically don't, but maybe they do. But it's like it's like ten seconds. It like makes makes the room feel a little bit nicer. Like if you're tidying up, then you're more likely to tidy up somewhere else. Maybe that's like the first little pebble that gets the avalanche going. That is you keeping the rest of your place kind of tidy and organized. Like you don't have to be a neat freak. I am not a neat freak whatsoever. But like just. Just make your make your bed. You can come in and sit on the bed properly later. You know, like. Is this Daniel's room? I'm fucking dead in the morning. Last thing I do give a shit is how my bed. Then make it like when you come back in the room later. Like get up, go brush your teeth, pee, whatever. Take your shower, have a coffee, whatever. And then like next time in your room, just make your bed real quick. It takes ten seconds. Ten fucking seconds. Like why not do it? And then when you go to bed later, like you can, you can you can slip in comfy under the sheets, and it's like your your fucking blanket isn't tangled up and shit. Like if you have a cat, like or a dog, then if they get on your bed when you're not there, then that means like like the hair is getting on the blanket and and instead of like on the sheets where your skin's gonna have contact and shit. Like like there's just so many reasons to to just to just make your bed, and not really that many reasons to not make it. Just just make your bed. It's it's so fast. Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Lisbeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. If you don't usually make your bed, it's not fast at all. What?! What? It doesn't even have to be super tidy. Like, I'm not even saying, tuck, tuck the blanket under the mattress and all that shit. You don't even have to do that. Just like... Pull the bed, the the blanket up to the, to the fucking pillows. Then go to the other side. Like like, if if it's a single bed or a twin, it's even easier because you don't even have to go to the other side of the bed to get done. You can just reach over, just like boom, 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 done. Like like seriously, so fast. Is she forcing him to do this? Why Took me twenty seconds just now. There, there you go. You you're well on your way to to a gold split, maybe even a, P, a PB. Go for it. Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. Revelations three nineteen. There's way more than that. There. Oh no, it's it's that over and over again. That's scary. He looks happy. Fuck. I can't believe I missed. Now I'm him. concerned how often chap brushes their teeth. We didn't even get to that. You all brush your teeth like like at least twice a day, right? Actually, I'm not too up to date with the latest tech on on brushing your teeth. Is it is it bad to brush your teeth more than twice a day? Happy birthday, Daniel. I brush my teeth twice a day, occasionally three times a day. Oh, twice? Shit. Yeah, once in the morning People and then really all once at hour. night before you go to bed. So much for secrecy. Once a day before sleep. So you're just like... You go to sleep, you wake up, and you're just like fucking free balling for the rest of the day. Oh well, I'll, I'll get to that at night. That's that's nighttime problem. What? What do you mean? Same. Twi you don't brush it. The the morning is the most like if you could only brush your teeth like once a day, I would brush them in the morning because like I would feel fucking disgusting for the whole fucking entire day. Like like what? Like you like even your once a day bullshit is just like. Like, you're picking the wrong time even for your one time of the day. Like, like what the f Do you brush before or after breakfast? I brush before breakfast, but I do understand that I should probably brush after breakfast. But I, usually I don't really eat breakfast, so I guess it doesn't... I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm being a Redditor. I don't eat breakfast. Lamayo got you. My teeth are fine in the morning? What? What do you mean your teeth are fine in the morning? You're going into the fucking bathroom, like, 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 glaring, snarling in the mirror? No, looks fine. I don't need to brush. I'm a dentist. What do you mean? Do you know how much bacteria and shit gathers in your mouth when you're asleep? Like, because you're not, you're not, like, usually, as throughout the day, you're, like, talking and swallowing your saliva that builds in your mouth and, like, clears away. You're also eating and drinking throughout the day, and that's clearing some of the sal saliva and bacteria that builds in your mouth. Like, the amount of shit that builds in your mouth while you're sleeping because you're not doing that shit, like... You have to brush your... What the fuck do you mean? How are you even judging this? Fucking dentist is like, yeah, brush your teeth in the morning and brush your teeth before bed. And you're like, nah, I'm not fucking falling for your bullshit, dentist. You just want me to brush my teeth for no reason. That's one minute of my life I'm never getting back. What the fuck? Do 
Do you wash your tongue? Yeah, I brush my tongue too. Zorgrox, hi Joe. Love, love, love coming to the stream. Incredible. <laughs> Thank you for the huge amount of bits. Or am I being trolled? My dentist says my teeth are great. I only brush at night, so there. Okay, next time you're there, tell him that you you only brush once a day and see what he says. Just because they're fine now doesn't mean that they're going to be fine forever. Like, how old are you? Maybe you're just, like, having fucking, like, like you're having, like, the youth bonus right now and you haven't, like, gotten to the bad parts yet. Even if your teeth are fine, is your breath fine? You're being trolled all the time. I don't think I am. Sometimes, for sure. Dentists are snake oil sales. <laughs> they're they're in the pocket of of a fucking big snake oil toothpaste. Angry about elves. Doesn't believe in copyright. <laughs> Doesn't believe in brushing teeth more than once a day. Dude, just brush your teeth in the morning. What have you got to lose? What what fucking fucking gambit are you doing here? You're not alone though. There's so many people in chat that fucking just like Okay, is there anyone in chat who doesn't brush their teeth at all? Like, do you, do you have, like, like, a weekly ritual? Oh, it's Sunday. Time to clean my, clean my towels. Put another tally on the, on the wall for when I'm cleaning my pillowcases and sheets. Have to get to 52 before I get there. Also time to brush my teeth for my weekly toothbrush. I didn't brush once as a teenager. All right, we're over two hours. So for the, for for the for the for the for the the most real ever, it's time to take a it's time to take a break and go brush your teeth. All right, it's time to take a break. And go brush your teeth. I'm gonna go pee. Let's go to the window. We'll look out the window. Oh, it's. <laughs> So he just <laughs> look up. What do you mean? Look up at what? <laughs> All right, I'll be right back.
Make sure to use a Q-tip when cleaning your ears, chat. No, that's wrong. You're not supposed to put Q-tips in your ears. You're gonna hurt your ears. You're just like making it worse. You're just compacting the wax into your ears. Don't care. All right, good luck with that bullshit. Some people can get away with it. I don't know if they've done a lot of enough studies about using Q-tips in your ears, but you know, like I have done it a couple of times myself. It is extremely satisfying. Don't get, don't get me wrong. Waxy ear jo Oh, sorry for just following the fucking directions of like every single fucking medical advice that I've ever read about Q-tipping your ears, including the fucking thing that's written on the Q-tip box. That is dangerous. I use Q-tips to clean my ears after I shower, and my doctor says my ears are the cleanest she's ever seen. Oh, okay, so you're 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 just trying to uh, to to make it out that you were trolling before about brushing your teeth thing by saying this about everything we say now. Okay. Honestly, sounds like the skill issue. It could be. So, I have two things to say. Number one, because I saw someone say it as I was walking away. If you have trouble making your bed, having a shower, brushing your teeth, because you suffer from depression, as far as I'm concerned, you get a free pass. Obviously, it's not ideal, but if you have issues with doing those sorts of things because of depression, then you have my sympathy. Try and do better, obviously. It's not ideal, but, you know, I do know that a lot of people, especially when it comes to showering, um, a lot of people that suffer from depression have a lot of trouble getting in the shower. That amount of commitment that it takes to get in is uh, sometimes very hard to overcome, okay? So, you got a free pass for me. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people who are just like, I could have a shower, but fuck it. I'm not going to. Secondly, how many of you don't drink water? Honestly, you should strive yourself to force yourself to do it. Yeah, you should, but, you know, it's hard. How many of you don't drink water? Wait, who doesn't drink water? Some people don't brush their teeth. I'm drinking water right now. I am too. How much water do I drink daily? Um, I've tried to cut back recently because I think maybe it was it was um, bloating my stomach a little bit and it was causing me some issues. So I used to drink um, anywhere between like three to six liters a day. Um, now I'm trying to keep myself below three. I've tried to cut back on water. Six, yeah, I, I drink recreationally. I love drinking water. I just, I like I'm bored and I just want to drink some water. Six? Yeah, I know. And that's not including like coffees and teas and if I have a soda. This is real. After you shower, you get a little bit of water in your ears and the wax softens. You can pick it up with a Q-tip if you twirl it really easy. My doctor really did say that. Okay, so. Like, at that point, you're not even putting the Q-tip in the ear canal. That's not what we're talking about. If you're, t if you're talking about like, like basically putting it in like i have my finger in my ear right now and like my fingernail is like not even in the ear canal or whatever if you're just like looping it around there that's probably fine in the same way that you can put a little bit of tissue in your ear but if you're putting the q-tip in anywhere deeper than that then your doctor actually doesn't know what they're talking about considering what um like every single other source i've ever read has said now if it, i'm literally talking about your then your doctor is insane like or your doctor is on the cutting edge of fucking Q-tip ear canal research and all of medical science hasn't caught up to them yet. All right? Because as always, if a new study came out and said, hey, it's actually fine. We did, we did fucking fucking 10 new studies with fucking 10,000 10, 10, participants each and it turns out using a Q-tip in your ears is fine. I would change my, my fucking stance that day. All right. Cause like I fucking love Q-tip in my ears as well. Like I really, I really like to, uh, 
to know. Glad to know I'm better than doctors. What do you mean, glad to know you're better than doctors? You're saying your doctor is saying this. Your story isn't straight right now. What are you doing? Mask is off. Q-tips are down. What do you mean? Story's not straight. I was told there's a second walkie-talkie somewhere. Or was it just the thing hanging down from the um, from the fan that people thought was another walkie-talkie? Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. So much for secrecy. Dearest Daniel, I know you may never read this, but I had to reach out for witnessing your Holy Spirit last week. I'm a sinner. I have not been a church-going woman for years. I, I heard a story from my neighbor about Elizabeth Fish. That's Elizabeth, right? And your miracles. I could feel the Lord whispering, t whisper to me, and then I drove all the way from Truckee to Haven Point. When I saw your angel face, I knew my faith was coming back. You showed us that God is alive and working through Daniel. This is kind of cringe. You raised the cross like he raised Jesus. I have found my faith again and I'm more strong than ever. You are sent to prove that God's love is real. I am saving money to see you again and pray I can be of service forever. Your servant, Lori Conway. P.S. If you want to talk, here's my number. I said my doctor said my... Okay, I, I'm actually banning you. Alright, I have banned a mod. I'm actually banning you. You were already on thin ice after the fucking copyright thing. Now I'm actually banning you. Like, telling me my reading comprehension is, is bad when you're not fucking not even, like, talking properly? Not, not, like, no. I'm fucking done. Stop putting Q-tips in your ears. Jesus Christ. This is quite the God damn. power, Baron, friends. It was bait. If it was bait, I will unban you, but I need to know it was bait, because I was not getting a bait vibe from that, especially after the copyright conversation we had the other day. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh, no. Daniel Fisher? It's total bullshit and creepy. That is really creepy. Hold on, is this the same door? Did we just find a new way in, or does that go to the basement? Oh, no, 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 it's not the same door. Okay. How do you know if it's bait? You can never know if it's bait. You just have to kind of feel it out. It's always going to be a judgment call, and you can't get it wrong. Oh, they're so cute. No matter what happened. I guess Finn was a real friend to ban them from Jads, but they weren't a dick on Jads. A ban on Twitch doesn't doesn't spill over to a ban on Jads unless they were really bad in Twitch chat, like spamming slurs and shit. If that's the case, then yeah, the ban will transfer over. Oh, they're so cute. The Book of Daniel. So much for hot dog, man. I, Daniel, was troubled in spirit, and the visions that passed through my mind disturbed me. I approached one of those standing there and asked the meaning of all this. So he told me that they gave me an interpretation of these things. The four great beasts of our four kings that will rise from the earth. But the holy people of the Most High will receive the kingdom and possess it forever. Yes, forever and ever. Locked, of course. Okay. So the key only works from the other side? Try key. Oh no, it works here. Shaped. Anyone who easily managed to drink four plus liters of water today should check their blood sugar. Found out I'm diabetic. Yeah, I've 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 heard that and I I agree. I've thought it a lot of times that I might be diabetic. I've checked my blood sugar lots and lots of times and I've never come back with any issue. Yeah, I've I've done that a lot. I've been tested for that quite a bit because I've thought that yeah I've suspected and I've been worried about that many times in my life and it's always been fine. Maybe it opens the other door. Is 
is drinking milk weird like all by itself i'm just gonna have a glass of milk i think it's a little weird but we spoke about this on chat before and apparently a lot of people do it so you go for it i think drinking milk and nothing else not having a snack with it or like washing it down with like a chaser of water it leaves this really like kind of bad taste in your mouth like it's it's not like like really weird It's just a little weird to me. Just drinking, just like, I'm just gonna go have a glass of milk yes. and nothing else. That's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Do you like almond milk? I've never had almond she milk. Does almond it taste milk. like almonds? Because if it does, I won't like it. I don't like almonds. I don't like nuts. And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Ooh. Man, what's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... wanted to cure you from... being... Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. Oh, so we're, we're learning this about him in the same breath that we're learning that they tried to convert him out of it. All right. A sinner. Tell your parents, ran away. Are they just trying to hit like a greatest, a greatest hits of everything they think is wrong with America in like one story? Are we going to get hit with a shit ton of medical bills at the end of this too for our stint in the hospital? Didn't you... Tell your parents? <laughs> you kidding? They wanted her to do that. Mom and Dad thought I had a demon inside. So did I. I really did believe I was a sinner. So I thought I had to atone for my sins. Seriously, where is this coming from? Just just out of nowhere, we're, we're taking this like like nothing background character who was just a vehicle to, to get... Daniel out of the, the, the conflict of the last fucking episode to here, and now we're suddenly like, yeah, let's just throw this in. What? How'd that go? And, uh, how did that go? Not good. I just prayed all the time and stopped hanging out with boys, girls, everybody. I got depressed, paranoid. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I... If he was gay, why didn't he hit on Sean? Finn and Cassidy were all over in like a magnet. It is true, it's kind of a plot hole that, that, that a gay person wouldn't hit on Sean. Yep, I agree. Was in a really bad place. I... I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I don't really get her, Sean. But Lisbeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. You didn't know. Then let's make this right. Then let's make things right. We Why are we having this talk while we're, like, broken into her house, by the way? Like, this is not the time. Can you out of here? I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Better care than here. Keep my money. Will I... No, I need the money. No, we're not in the, we need we really need the money. Are you what? Better care than here. Yeah. <laughs> Anything would be better than here. Right. I just 
hope they can still cure her. I would accept, like, here, take some of the money. Let's split it a little bit. Like, take all the money. Do you miss Max? I do miss Max, yeah. What's up? Oh no! This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, Trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Okay. Yeah. See what you can do. Okay, where's the walkie-talkie gonna go now? Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Where's the walkie-talkie? Hurry up. All right, we're hiding. We're gonna hide in here. The closet is probably better, right? Come on, Sean. We need to hide. Okay, these are the only places to hide. Oh no, this is a filing cabinet. He finds us here. We're no, 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 no. Let's go in the, the other one. The other one. The other one. The other one. Go hide, 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 in, hide in the cupboard. Hide in the cupboard. Oh no, that doesn't work. Oh no. Uh, uh, re replace, replace the fucking yourself with the coat. Just stand there. All right. Well, this is literally the only place. Hide under the. Hide under the. Behind the curtain. Oh no! There's literally <laughs> no way. <laughs> behind the door. <laughs> what are you doing here, punk? Huh? All right, can I reload? Cause I thought there was another choice. Can I do that or no? Uh, whatever. Let him go, Nicholas. Ah! You're trespassing too, you little fag. All the walkie talkies back. <laughs> you were always trouble. I'll deal with you later. Now come with me, you shithead. I guess we would have been caught no matter what. Oh Lord, let your power speak through this young vessel. Speak to me, <sighs> Reverend. Sean. What's going on? <sighs> Reverend, he was going through your stuff in your office. Jacob let him in, but I took care of that Judas. Oh, Sean. <laughs> Little lost lamb. How could you desecrate holy lamb? Sean! You okay? How'd you get in here? Huh? Yeah. Don't worry. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No. This I'm is not this going is mom. In. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. Didn't you hear the Reverend? Nicholas, Sean is just confused. We forgive the sinners. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean? I am. Who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here. Uh-oh. For you. Oh, <laughs> praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. Yeah. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you what are the beholders have to do mother, about this? Let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Right, you have a point. Yeah, Sean's you, yeah. When you have Daniel a point. was lost. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know she's making some what Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. You were blessed with a divine gift and you cast him out into the world who the hell are you you might have been his mother once but when you abandoned him you also gave up your rights isn't your god all about forgiveness 
Is Karen gonna reveal she has powers here? Is she gonna like Stranger Things the the Reverend into the wall behind her now or something like? <laughs> just call the cop. You can't call the cops. Like they uh they're wanted. It's gonna make it worse. You have no idea what the Bible says. I guess. How can you? Would that still be better? I don't know. To care about these two children. You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel. Honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. They're trespassing here. Is it, is it trespassing? If your brother, your child brother or, or actual child is being held against their will, is it still trespassing? Like, I don't think you get in trouble for that, right? Like if if someone if someone grabbed my kid while I was walking down the street and pulled them into their house, I think I have absolutely every right to just like bash down their door and get my kid back right then and there, right? Like, like I mean, technically, if you're looking at it purely objectively, you know, I'm trespassing, but like, I'm not gonna get in trouble for that, right? Like, cause it's it's a kidnapping, and I'm trying to prevent the kidnapping. I guess what makes it difficult is that Daniel's been here for a while, right? So it's like, oh, well, it's not really a kidnapping if you didn't, if it took you this long to, to, uh, to find out about it. Hmm. Yeah, it's not that clear cut. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Morally, accident. you're right, but legally, no. I, I think even legally I'd be right. If someone grabbed my kid and took them into the into their house, I think I have every right to jump through their fucking window to get my kid back. Like even legally, I think I have a right to do that. No, you're not. I, I what? Really? Legally, only the police have that right. Ew. I think legally I have the I have the the right to fucking get my kid back, don't I? And this is like saying if someone starts hitting you, you're not allowed to hit them back because legally, uh, like like uh, assault is against the law. Well, no, you're allowed to defend yourself. So I think what's with chat? No, I don't think chat is being difficult right now. I think chat is like is 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 not um is is trying to figure out if it's true or not. Like I think I think I would be allowed to do that. I'm not sure though. I think I would be allowed to do that. Injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. It would be vigilantism if you found if you found random crime and punish it with your own guns. Yeah, but that's not what we're discussing. We're talking about someone like kidnapping my kid right in front of me, and then they, they um, they're taking them away. Like if I had a gun uh, and I, I was in America, I think I would have a right to shoot them, wouldn't I? They're they're kidnapping my kid. Um, I wouldn't, because I might shoot the kid, but, like, if it, if it was a movie, no, what? No, <laughs> you were on their land. <laughs> I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother. And I'm so glad he listened. If the kid isn't in immediate danger, you can't kill like that. I think a kid being kidnapped is qualifies as immediate danger. Who the hell knows what they're going to do to the kid? Like in my scenario, like the kid is being like dragged away from from the parent. Like that that is immediate danger. I really think I would be legally right to do it. I'm not sure, but I, I, I'm, I'm almost sure. Like I'd have to research it to find out if I was sure. Even if it was legal, I'd take the jail time. Oh yeah, but that's that's not the discussion. Yeah, obviously every parent would take the jail time, except for Karen. Um, yeah. You gotta trust us. And Joyce. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. This time. Are you going to believe her or me? She absolutely is. He, he's absolutely not. I. That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. 
and we'll never leave. How often do you scrub your walls? Not as often as Go we should, hell. to be honest. Come on, Daniel. I don't know exactly. Oh. Lily does most of the cleaning. Holy shit. Okay. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wanted to do that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. She went to the doctor. Not a real Christian. <laughs> She's not a real Christian. Think about Claire and Stephen. They have faith, but they would never endanger a little girl's life like that. But... Uh, the ones that wouldn't let us go into our mom's room? Okay. She's always right. Why would she lie? Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me and to you. Kicked out of church. This is no place for you. Toxic community. This, this is a toxic community. She's cutting everyone from the world. Keeping things secret. She wants to keep you to herself. It's Sean, like what does toxic At mean? Least I'm not hurting anyone anymore out here. You found your home here, Daniel. Don't let him trick you. Your homework. What would dad say? You're smarter than this. The letter from Karen. What would dad, your home, what would dad what say? What do you think dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay. But I'm not ready, Sean. When did that happen? See what you have done. Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. I said, stop! <sighs> Don't. I oh no, he's gonna kick us, we're getting up! You can never get, get up in front of Nicholas! I'll even cross hell oh my god, Nicholas went through character development. Uh, oh! Sean! He must learn. Yep, we're learning. The place is on fire, by the way. Listen, I know I wasn't a great brother. I was an asshole. I should have never agreed to do that heist. It was stupid. Sure. Don't listen to him. He left you just- So if we hadn't agreed to the heist, would this be like, I, sh I should never have let you go with Finn alone. I should have been paying more attention to you instead. So it's pretty much the exact same thing. It's like that harlot did. Joe, legal and ab able to be convicted in court. Sorry, one second. Legal and able to be convicted in court and in front of a jury are different. It would be hella legal to break in and steal your kid, but hard to convict in front of a jury. Okay, but that's, that's my point. I think I am well within my legal rights. Like, it might still go to a court because they might need to clear it up or whatever. But I think that, that legally, if there was, like, like, like a bunch of witnesses, right? And someone saw someone grab my kid like it was indisputable this would happen right if someone saw someone run out of their house grab my kid drag them into their house and lock the door i think legally i would be fine to bust down that door to get my kid back like i don't see how that's not a legal thing to do i'm not, I'm not even talking about like oh a, a, a jury would like um absolve me or that or whatever i think that would be like, I think that would be a legal thing to do. I think I'm legally allowed to do that. Just in the same way that if someone starts hitting you, you are legally allowed to defend yourself. It's it's the same thing. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that a jury would absolve me. I think, of, of course, a jury would absolve me. Like, there's no fucking way. But I'm just saying legally, I think I would be able to do that. No, it's not legal having to go to court over a consequence of, of, it being, of it being illegal. But I'm talking about, like, if there were, like, enough witnesses. If there was no witnesses there, then it's my word against this guy's. Of course, there would be, like... There would be, you'd have to clear it up and that would probably have to go to court. I'm not, I'm like, we're, I'm trying to make it like, I'm trying to force the hypothetical to, to really hone in on the legality of it, not the actual practicality of it. Like,
No, you're supposed to call the cops in that case. So, why is it okay to defend yourself if someone's hitting you? Is is it not is it is it illegal to defend yourself too? Am I completely wrong? Because of immediate danger. But my kid is in immediate danger. Someone just grabbed my kid and took him into their house. Who the fuck knows what they're doing to them? You might still have to go to court. Yeah, even if I defend myself, like if someone starts hitting me and I'm legally allowed to defend myself, it still might go to court to clear up what, what exactly happened. But that doesn't mean it was illegal for me to defend myself. It just means that they, they might have to like figure out exactly what happened. And that might require a trial. Might not, but it might require a trial. If someone breaks into your house, you attack them, they flee, but you pull out your gun and shoot them. At that point, they are fleeing. It went from self-defense to second-degree murder. Okay, yeah, that, but that's a wholly different scenario, and I agree with that scenario. Yeah, of course. If they're fleeing and you shoot them, yeah, that's you're, you're not defending yourself anymore. Depends on a country. Yeah, I, I'm not ex exactly expecting an answer. I'm just surprised at how many people are just, like, seem to be very staunchly saying that it's legal. Like, I really don't think it is. Twitch is the best place to discuss it. Well, I find it interesting, so, you know, it is a good place to discuss this. In worst case scenario, you'll get punished for trespassing, but your child would, would be, be saved. I think you get charged with breaking and entering if, that, if we're going against the legality of it. I don't know, man. Like, if you're, this is a, this is a more a more difficult scenario to judge now. If you're if you're walking down the street, right, and you hear someone yelling for help from inside a house, screaming, and they have like big windows so you can actually see inside, and there's just like a man in there, just absolutely just going to town, just beating the absolute ever loving shit out of a kid through the window, just like just actually beating them like almost close to death like there's blood that's coming out of them like and they're screaming for help like you call the police but like you're not allowed to go in and try and stop them like i really feel like you should be able to go in right like you can right like how is it illegal to be like this guy's gonna kill this kid i should go in and stop them right that's legal i think that w that should be legal too You absolutely can't stop them. So that's okay, but because when someone takes my kid away, because I can't see them hurting my kid, it's not legal at that point? Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, it's interesting. Oh, I don't have the mouse on the screen. My bad, sorry. Shut him up! He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him! <clears throat> don't let them do that, Daniel! What if I stayed if I down? If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza. Chad is too stupid to brush your teeth, but knows Mo's law. That, let's not fucking, like, fight about just hate on chat for some people not brushing their teeth. <laughs> your movie. Most chatters brush their teeth, but right? I can't do that. All I can not do all chatters. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team. It's like a five guys at most, right? To keep going no. forward. What are oh, you no. Please. He's my brother. You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Yeah, keep getting up and getting hit. All right. Thanks, Mom. Nothing. Nothing. It's gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most. Oh, brothers. Okay, um, Merrick, two brothers. I didn't know this either. Two brothers is not the same game as a uh, brothers. A tale of two sons. That's brothers. A tale of two sons is the game that Total Biscuit liked a lot. Two brothers is is a completely different game. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. I thought it was called Two Brothers as well. So, like, the guy who made Yeek didn't make Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. 
I saw that or, saw that later. Sorry. If anyone said that in the chat while we were discussing that, sorry, I missed it. I, I should have clarified. You know. Uh, uh, Two Brothers is like an RPG uh, maker game, isn't it? Daniel, it looked like it. Listen to him. Won't stop, no matter what she does. Is this supposed to be emotional? My God, he's I'll just not staying right down. Again, what the hell is this? And again. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. She shut him up now. Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Do it. Shoot! Do no! it. Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with me. He no! will. He will. Stop! Daniel! Sean! I'm sorry. I was so confused. Thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Where's the gun? Why are we taking the gun? Uh, well, yeah, taking the gun's a good idea. Oh, no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Move. Let us go. Move it. Shoot you her in the leg. Leave this place. Shoot her in the leg. Not with me alive. Okay, I'm gonna shoot you then. I said move. Or I will hurt you. Sean. Foolish child. You can't threaten me with death. I embrace it. I know what awaits me. Okay, go in the fire then. I'm sorry. Oh. Do 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 What's unhinged about it? I'm not letting Daniel kill her. This is the good choice. Either I kill her or Daniel kills her. I should kill her. It was her. I'm the big brother. What the fuck, chat? Could little bro just move right? Yeah, but then she get knocked out and die in the fire, right? What? We're not caring about Nicholas? We're not dragging him out? Oh, well. Now it's a double homicide. All right, cool. I guess Daniel just killed Nicholas. So he did kill someone now. <laughs> no music. I'm waking up. I'm checking out. Don't give a shit about the plot anymore. I'm breathing in. The flames in the church. Is the Mona kid still- I don't know. I guess we could have saved them if we weren't caught in that room because I was checking to where we could go and I didn't realize the guy was going to hide behind the door. This is not a good end for, for me, sorry. I guess while they're distracted, he could have went and grabbed her, right? So we gave them a-, a uh, Oh, there's Nicholas. We gave them an out. Oh, give me the gun. Need to shoot again. Ah, yeah. Let's follow Daniel's example. Push him back in the fire. Yeah, that's what I do now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Jacob got out. All right, there you go. Can I have my money, please? Where's my money? Uh, 
It all worked out. So along with all other crime, you are now guilty of crime. The police have been after you all again. Now we're not guilty of anything. She was trapping us with the fire. We totally had the right to defend ourselves. This is America. What we're supposed to do? Guess I'll die? Like what? Shoot her in the leg? That's the worst thing you can do. That's a death sentence. I think we shot her in the stomach. She might survive that. Would it be more or less funny if there were sound effects, right? It would be way more funny if there were just sound effects. Shoot her, shoot her in the head, it might miss the brain. It's true, she didn't have a plunger in her t in her bathroom. Alright, that was it. That was a pretty short episode. Alright, so that kind of sucked. But something happened at least. You passed one of the tests. We passed both of them, actually. It's just that it didn't let me do it. The, the pen actually clipped through the other pen, but it just didn't let me have it. You told Agent Flores the robbery was Finn's idea. I regret that, actually. You escaped the hospital without hurting anyone. Nice. You could have attacked the guard? We could have attacked the guard and won? You didn't talk to Finn. Yeah. You broke Daniel's toy while taking it back from Chad. Did we? You refused to sing and got beat up. Wait, if you sing the song, you don't get beat up? You were not asked to sing a song. What? How, how are you... How do you get away with that? You got into Anton's truck to reach Haven Point. Oh, you can walk. I'm surprised that it lets you walk. You gave money to the church. You didn't give money to the church. Who the fuck is giving money to the church? Overall, you tried to let Karen open up to you. Whoops. You smoked a cigarette with Karen. You refused Karen's help. Who's accepting Karen's help? Nicholas was unaware of your presence. Um. Oh, right, right, right. Getting in there. You didn't give any money to Jacob, so I have all my money now, right? You got caught by Nicholas. You shot Lisbeth while Daniel was, wasn't hurting. Three percent. Three percent. Oh, uh, you and Daniel both spared Elizabeth. Oh, we could have, she could have lived. All right. Well, sorry. My read on that was bad. I guess with like fate telling you that that could have been an outcome, it looks shit. But like with all the information you have in that time, it's like her, him psychically moving her probably would have involved, uh, was resulted in her getting knocked out and died in the fire or just fucking dead. You let Daniel unleash his power on Elizabeth while he was hurting her. Hmm. I'd rather kill killer than have Daniel do it. Top 3%. Did the person who has been playing along with us or played before come back for episode 4 and skipped episode 3? Or have they played it since we started streaming? It's cold. It's cold. This is it. Wait, what What was all the... Where was the guy that was like, you know, cop killer, you're on your own now? Like, th that, that, the trailer for episode four made it sound like, like, Sean was gonna be hunted by some fucking vigilante in the desert. Where were those lines of dialogue? We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. Wait, what? <laughs> You ready? Yeah. I think. Uh, okay, pardon my ignorance, chat, but I wasn't aware that there was actually a wall between America and Mexico. Or is it only in some places there is a wall? There isn't? There isn't some- I do- I have seen footage of there being a wall in some parts. I think made out of, um, uh, shipping containers. I think I saw that. Or maybe it, it was something that looked like shipping containers.
building a full wall, full length wall is unviable. Not with that attitude. It's so wasteful. All right, let's keep going. Last episode. Once upon a time. For fuck's sake. A wild, wild world. There were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace. And then they found mama wolf. Two hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and like, nights. Episode 4 was kind of shit, but at least something happened, right, chat? Time. At least something happened. That's when the big brother discovered that the little And it's not like we got knocked out in the room while it was on fire and then we woke up and the fire was gone and someone was sitting there smoking a cigarette talking to us and then we left and it turned out it wasn't a dream sequence. Like it wasn't completely god awful. The shit happened in episode 4. Long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them. After a bad accident, they were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. Kind of feel like Sean isn't making it out of this game. That the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. <laughs> coyote cult? Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, suddenly, she said, yep. she came to help rescue him. That's that's about right. Yep. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. Somehow, the emperor's he back. Was their idol. So the big brother had to kill her, so they could escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother. Who left? Far She's into gone the now, desert. right? To her Alright, episode 5, let's start off with a banger. Chat, you change your socks every day, right? Fresh pair of socks every single day? That's even more important than changing your underwear, I think. New day, new socks, right? Fresh pair of socks every single day. You're going to get athlete's foot, you're going to have some really bad shit if you don't change your socks every single day. I don't wear socks? Well, you wear socks when you go outside, right? At some point, you do wear socks. If you come back after wearing socks, like, if you go to the store and you put some socks on, right? And when you come back, like, you're out for, like, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour. You come back, you take your socks off when you're home. If you have to go back out again later on the same day, putting the same pair of socks on, completely acceptable. You're allowed to do that. But, you know, when the day ticks over, you go to sleep and it's the next day. Like, no, fresh pair of socks. Right? You take your socks off at home. In the summer, I do. And if it's not too cold down in the basement, I, I take my socks off. I don't like wearing socks. I have socks on right now, though, because it's cold down here. What if you are backpacking for a week? I mean, it's still important. Is, isn't it even more important to change your socks when you're backpacking for a week because you're on your feet so much and you're walking around and you're going to get some sort of infection? Isn't that part of the like the backpacking and hiking kind of thing that you need to change your socks even more? So that's that's part of the prep when it comes to going hiking, right? So I, th I think so, yeah, even then. Maybe you can go two days at that point, like, if you don't have room for socks, but, like, you're risking something bad at that point. How often do you wash your slippers then? I don't have slippers. I'm not a slipper enjoyer. Grand Canyon. Seven weeks after the events of Nuthaven Point. Yeah, Karen's gone for sure. 
how often do you clip your nails? Uh, probably about once a week, maybe a week and a half, depending on when they get long. Probably closer to once a week. My nails grow pretty fast. Yeah, my, my nails grow really fast. I just clipped them three days ago, and there's a couple that I have to clip again already, I think. I'm looking at them right now. I clip them, and then I file them down. How do you stop biting your nails? I just stopped doing it. I don't know. Like, I just I just stopped, Lamayo. Like, I don't know. A big thing that had... Okay, so there was one part that was more motivating for me, is that as I was getting older, I think my skin is getting is getting drier. Um, I also wash my hands a lot more now because of the kids. I handle a lot of, of poop every single day, you know, walking the dogs, also changing diapers, you know, that sort of thing, dealing with the kids. I have to wash my hands a lot. And I think because I was washing my hands a lot, my hands were getting drier. And because of that, when I was biting my nails, my cuticles were starting to come off with, with the nails and I was getting a lot of hang nails. And I mean, hangnails, like, like I would have to, like, get the hangnail in my mouth, in my teeth, and rip it off, and it would, like, bleed a lot, you know, like, really, really bad hangnails. And that made me stop having to, um, to bite my nails. Hand lotion, yeah, I lotion my hands now, but I wasn't for a while, and that made me, helped me motivate, um, uh, stop biting my nails. You heard of Solar Ash? It's from the same people that made Hyperlight Drifter. Yeah, I've heard of it. Um, I want to play it. Hey, wake up, Sean. <sighs> Dude, come on. Do you on. not own a nail clipper? Yeah, I clip my nails, what? but before I was biting them. I've I, I stopped biting my nails for I think a couple what years time now. Is it? Get up! It's so cute. Maybe once a month, you know, as a treat, I'll bite a nail. I, I can't. I can't lie to you. Yeah, Karen's gone. Have you played Wander Song? Not only have I played it. I streamed it. Did you play Ultra Kill? I have not played Ultra Kill, no. But we'll probably stream it at some point. It looks fun. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Have you played her story, Telling Lies, or Immortality? I have not, no. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay. Now. That would drive me crazy. I promise. Have your kids played the Crash Bandicoot games you got them for Christmas? Yeah. They have not. I don't know why, but they're not interested. I got them a bunch of games. I got I them the Spyro you. trilogy for Switch. No matter what happens. Got them Hades. You hear me? Yeah. I, I got them another too. copy of Animal Crossing so they can play together. Um I and I got Finn exit the Gungeon, and he's been playing that a lot. Do they even like platformers? They love platformers. <laughs> get ready for your itchies when you get your wolf tattoo. Oh no, does the tattoos itch as they're healing a lot? Always. Lily said it didn't itch too bad for her, but she has way better skin than I do. How old are your kids? Seven, five, three, and one. Two years so, between each of them. Are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No, I just... Just think about what happened. Is it good, Exit the, is it Exit the Gungeon? Or you haven't played it? Um, I played it for, I don't know, 30 seconds when Finn was showing me it. I actually don't like it. I feel like the perspective and, the, and, and turning that gameplay into a side-scroller is way too chaotic and kind of messy for me. However, Finn really enjoys it, and he loves Enter the Gungeon, and he's pretty good at it. So I think if you play it for long enough, you can get used to it, and it can be fun. But it looks a little too simplistic to me. Yeah, I know. Use the button, select an answer. Her or us? Don't think too much. It was her or us, Inano. No choice. I know, dude. That was scary. She got what she deserved. Mm-hmm. We're talking about this now? Do you... feel bad about it? Yes. <sighs> yes. have not played Pathologic 2, no. Or Pathologic 1. But we can't go back. Good. I'm kind of glad she's dead. I've also not played Hatsu Hatsune Miku. Sean, are we criminals now? Yes. 
Sort of. Sort of. We did a lot of... Illegal shit. If the cops catch us... Did you play us, Max Payne 1 or 2? I did, at, when they came out, actually. I'm that old. I played those games at release. Even Max That's Payne 1. Sure. Max Payne 1 was great when it first came Don't out. Let them get us. Well, Max Payne 1 and 2 are a great example of how you can make a game out of one really good mechanic. And that one really good mechanic is like pressing shift and diving but forward and shooting before you hit the ground. We'll and like it soon. just doesn't get old the whole game. Just like, rah, blah, 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 sorry, blah. like it's so good. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Yeah, I can tell you. Aren't you too old? Yeah, I can tell you. Oh. I haven't yeah. played three. Nope. I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Three looked Wait. really weird, so I didn't play it. Too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf. Are you actually going to play True Colors? Yep. Barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied the evil Chupacabra, and they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too. Are you going to play Forspoken? Right? What's Forspoken again? Oh, that's... Oh, oh god, no. No, I'm good, thank you. Are you even paying attention to the game? Not really, to be honest. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh... Okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. What tool do you use to shave? Uh, uh I don't stop before we shave leave. closely anymore. I use uh, just a pair of hair clippers, like beard trimmer, to to clip my beard. I don't do it very often though. I don't see any money. Told Trip to live with Karen again. She's still trying. She's trying her best, but I'm still not ready to open up. Maybe I'll resent her forever. Maybe I'll deal with it. Daniel's getting better. I can see he loves having mommy back. And then she left. Daniel's powers is no secret here. No one gives a shit. They just go along with it. I don't see someone as, as they can use as their own advantage. Refreshing. Groar. Who's going to tell? We already have some batshit crazy sand people. David. So this place away is what you is what you make it. Joan haunts it with cool ass sculptures made from scavenged scraps. She's a cool and sunny woman. Karen's closest thing is to a best friend, it seems. Cool as heck ornamental ornamental tattoos. Take my time today. June 15th, 2017. Arthur and Stanley live in one of the only proper houses in town. They built it together. Oh, the mom hasn't fucked off, has it? We, like, we're just living nearby? They built it together 10 years ago. Um, from ruins of their past lives. These two can't stop teasing each other, but they're so inspiring. Old couple, young love. This place makes me want to draw. Could stare at these canyons forever. Daniel needs to vent out. He's been having nightmares about Haven Point and Elizabeth for weeks. Still feels guilty about my eye. Need to find ways to help him process this. Karen told us about a cool camping spot. Research the top, sorry, reach the top after a long hike across the canyon. Track sessions feel like forever ago. Need to work on my cardio. Don't fall, mate. Ursa Major Man Horatius. I don't know what that, that means. Probably the best view ever. Oh, they're constellation. Probably the best view ever. Gonna stargaze all night thanks to Arthur's telescope. Daniel seems happy. Did I miss some talk about. Um, 
Got Daniel Cost back at what cost? All right. Yeah. Karen lives in a desert county. Yeah, there we go. No shit. Unincorporated community, she said. It's called Away. Only 30 people live here on off. This place is so weird, but the desert is mind-blowing. The perfect hideaway. May 29th, 2017. Daniel's still feeling so confused, guilt-tripping a lot. He can't figure out what happened. The brainwashing the lies. Elizabeth, Elizabeth's grasp over his trauma. Do my best to help him recover. Sure hope they, they, sure hope they find now. Karen is a big help too. She's good with words. That letter from Jacob and Sarah made him happy. Daniel needs more friends. So do I. Sean, we we pose in. Nig heart. Okay, there you go. I'm glad we had these. Okay, so it seems like we have we've reached critters. some stability now. End of game. Like, what's gonna happen? I don't understand. No, we have to keep going to Puerto Lopos. Like, like why? Like, we're here. We're with your with your mom. Like, like what? I don't understand. How is this still going? I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Can Daniel Maybe fly? It reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Could he move himself with his powers? Yeah, right. I'm glad we had these. Yeah. Not a fan of desert critters. Yeah. Remember what, when we uh, stole that camping equipment and we never had to use it ever? Man, nothing Ooh, mattered at all. Sketching time. Honestly, like a, this kind of this kind of game, but as a roguelike, would be interesting. But I don't know how you would do it with with narrative and stuff. It's like good idea. Making decisions to have enough money and also the, getting the right camping equipment and everything, and like you can, can you get through it? You know, what I mean that that sounds like it could be fun. But I don't know how you would have a story and like voice <laughs> acting and everything to go along with it. But if I can see it in my mind. I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. Not true. The tent was set up in we'll the abandoned cabin you used. It was pointless. But it was. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So if you don't have it, you don't. It's not there. I'm they're kidding. They're just sleeping on the hmm. ground. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Or sleeping on the floor. Sorry. My back hurts a little. Just look hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Of course. Like striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Do we finally have all our money? No, we don't. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah. Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. This will have consequences. Do, 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 do. Okay, nice shift there. Row 96 is roguelike. Uh, Life is Strange 2, also political. Well, of course it's political. Everything's political. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Let's clean up this mess. So lazy. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. You joke, but this has a consequence. He says he looks too villainous if you're a good influence. You mean he says that if, if we've been a bad influence. Activate flashlight. And no funny business. Of course not. On the way. You inspired me to try my bidet today, but I honestly couldn't figure out how you're supposed to operate it and not have water everywhere. So you you had a bidet, but you hadn't used it. So it just it just came in the place that you're staying at, I guess. This power is so. How did cool. I inspire you to use it? I love tie dyeing stuff now. Well, I'm glad that you did. 
I think the ones that uh, I think some people in chat that were saying that bidets are really easy to use are they have they have the bidet hoses. And I think that's a lot easier. I think the ones that are like a sink that you squat over and you have to like reverse cowgirl, I think those are uh, trickier than I think some people in chat expect. Especially with the water pressure and how you get the position right. So I can see how it, it could be an issue. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What's that noise? He's lifting something? Oh. What are you doing? No time to play. Don't do that. No time to play. Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on. Let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay. Is this supposed to be like a sign of him bad? Like it's just a scorpion. Who cares? I wish we saw my falling stars. Or any. <laughs> Don't piss when they fall. We s hey. What? We saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool. Our I wish Stanley let we us could have seen telescope. that. That would have been a better scene yeah. than what we got. These guys are real cool. Hey, see this? Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait, does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Oh, dude, weed. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Yeah. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. Mm -hmm. Uh, where were we? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not... Hide it. Daniel? I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Man, if only we could do oh, that, and there gotcha. was a bunch of things and I scenes that we could use our comes. powers on. But then you'd use it in front of people, and then you'd get in trouble, so they have to make it Ooh, so it was context only. Look at that! So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. Sorry. So, as I was saying, yeah, Karen was right. Does the boy cast a shadow yet? Oh, oh cool. he does now. Cool. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's in denial. She's confused. She doesn't care. Maybe she just doesn't care. Hold on. So, like, there's a bunch of people we're living with, and they all know the kid is telekinetic, and they're just all cool with it. Okay, are you the oh, only oh. are you the only telekinetic in the world? Oh, Alright, so you're telekinetic. So many wolves in this desert. <laughs> Max had time rewind powers. It's the same universe. Anyway, Rachel Amber clearly Can had some sort of power as well. Like, that. like it's undeniable she had like some hippie. sort of power. Um She just goes with the flow, man. So I guess that's somewhat common in this world. She's weird like us. I hear you. Maybe that's why they're cool with it. <laughs> My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. Like, non existent? Hey, okay, cool. You know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Oh, yeah, hey, Brody. He could have his own radio station. I thought for sure Brody would come back. For our local super psychic boy. How did. Yeah. Did Definitely. this happen after we left? Wait, hold on. It this would be so like cool to have him around. Hella dangerous, man. What the? <laughs> so, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be 
Super careful. This game or Beyond Two Souls? Beyond Two Souls oh. all the way. Beyond Two Souls <laughs> was a lot of things. Nice Beyond man. Two Souls wasn't boring. I had more fun in the like two minutes that you are like a ghost in that first room early on in the game, terrorizing that woman that I've had in this entire game put together. And, and I can throw Before the Storm in there too. What about the, the native people sequence? That was pretty boring, yeah, but there still was like some mystery and intrigue going there. They didn't really reveal it all that well, but it was still like, whoa. Is there a worse game you play than this? Before the Storm is worse, I think, overall, still. Hello, neighbor. Steins Gate, we didn't even finish. But I feel bad saying that because we didn't finish it. Are you ever going to upload the Rodney Stream to YouTube? Yeah, I am. I'm on that. Um, I keep forgetting to. to publish the first one it's on there but hey, now i need to I check to make sure i don't swear answer. in the first 30 seconds of that Go one now it. i'm gonna have to re-render that again back the telescope to stanley and arthur but that the first two streams are uploaded with chat went to town for weekly supplies some pancakes left in the kitchen <laughs> back soon all right so karen's not in this episode cool if you weren't proving St steins gate fans wrong would you drop this game no I've, I've i've joked about that and with before the storm but that's not really why i've been finishing it it's funny to to say that Danny, but no copy yes. these I are pretty short so i have a pancake alert in the kitchen repeat pancake alert whatever joanne has waffles over and out 10 4 what do you mean no flying pancakes today pancakes are better than waffles or are they Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Um. Yeah, she loved working with kids, son she abandoned. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Don't care. She's Don't really care. good at rewriting her own life. Yeah. Wait, what? What do you mean? She's really good at. I am a solo Mobius strip. Just when life. I reach the end, I go back to the beginning. Resign myself to new faces, the privilege to escape and rewrite another draft. Goddess laughs at plans and shows me the page left unmarked for years. Out in the ghost desert, the seeds return as saplings to reveal their age and power. Now I go back forward, layered with fear and hope, to water the children of the sun. All right. Wait, was there more? This one's pretty intense. Don't believe I would find a soul within or without Think a church. A miracle was... Si okay, she's just doing bullshit. Should we read the note? Should we do it? Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Tell me your reactions. Just, yeah, whatever. Fuck it. I don't care. Are we supposed to be doing? Bring the telescope back to Arthur. Check on Daniel. Alright, let's do that. Excuse me, water bo- Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Excuse what? me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? When did she I preach that? Ask Mom. We could but also no try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Take a look, look at your wallet. Oh, we yeah. don't have a wallet. Oh, we do have a wallet. Oh, it's back now. All right, we do have the money. That's nice. Good. We can grow a lot of stuff there. David's trailer. Another David? <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally.
I hope the UFOs are listening. I hope so too. What the hell is that? That looks neat. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars. David Damn, he divorced it. Joyce. Yeah, D David Madsen fucking survived the the fucking um, the destruction of Arcadia Bay, and just somehow is in the same fucking <laughs> desert commune. That, it, it is him, isn't it? It is. It is. As I'm saying it, it it it, it is. It is, isn't it? Where is he? Let's find him. Morning, Sean. Stanley and Arthur. Morning, guys. Where is he? Thank you. Why are you wearing an Eevee hat? Oh, you're gonna ask. I knew you weren't just gonna let it go. No, of course not. <clears throat> ben had a store. This tea or coffee? It's tea. Tea. Okay. Ben had a store. He had a store. A store. So I had to buy something. Okay. So then he wanted me to buy the hat. Okay. And then so I bought the hat, and then he goes, "Well, aren't you gonna wear the hat?" How much was the hat? I don't know. It was like. Like a cookie worth. Like, a cookie? Yeah. You have to give. You gave him a cookie? Yeah. Okay. You gave him a cookie. I think you got ripped off. <clears throat> and then he wanted me to wear the hat. Okay. So. Well, it looks good on you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the tea. Excuse me, Excuse me This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Greetings, here's your telescope. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. Weed? And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. This dialogue like is us, acted. Darling. I can you'll be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. Why? We still have a ways to go. Why? Technically, you're already in a way. Yeah. I get it. You still have to find your home. We were lucky. And old enough to find ours here. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. Yeah. But being gay is still dangerous. True. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they dis- Just, just, just every single fucking thing that the writers think is wrong with the world, let's just shove it in. Just with, just no nuance. Just, just a sledgehammer and just with every scene just like, kabom, 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 like, like, there's definitely a place for discussing this and I think it should be done, absolutely, but what the fuck is this game? Don't me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. Sorry for talking with chocolate in my mouth, by the way. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own away. You will. People come here to reset their life, become the person they want to be, or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. 
I'm gonna see what Daniel's My body may be 37, but I'm 69. Thanks for the desert, brew. Later, dudes. These two remind they me seem of nice. Steven. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. What's up, Joanne? Um. See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay. Okay, Daniel. Let's take a little break. Got it. I thought I could go and talk to him in person, but no. That child is something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah. Oops. Now he's a homophobe. Honestly, the way that they've reacted to choices in this game, he he should be. Seriously. Like, kid is the most sensitive person in the world to some of the decisions that you make. Meanwhile, there's, like, this this ocean of, like, half a year of decisions that, that, that are made off screen. That apparently, like, Sean is just the perfect fucking brother where it doesn't matter. And then, oh no! Like, you you, you took a chocolate bar out of the fuck of the back of a car. Like, just, just insanity. I bet. <laughs> While we're starving on the run. But you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. Um, just doodles. I don't know. It's just... Doodles and shit. No big deal. Yeah. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Yeah. I'm not an artist? You absolutely are an artist. Why are you here now? Always an artist? Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Wait. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. You already are, dude. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Yep. Speaking of... I agree. Do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay, better not interfere. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, uh, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. What are we doing? So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. True Colors had one of the best <laughs> scenes in gaming, Kappa. Daniel snap these together like block toys. Uh -oh. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Now... Let's throw on that spider. There he goes. <laughs> Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece, don't you think? Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Watch this. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. I see where you're going with this. Clever. Okay, done. Uh, where is he going? <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. You're too far from the original. <laughs> okay. How about Turning that pancake head. Totally. <laughs> Done. Do I really have to like get it right? Okay. Earth out. Check it out. God damn it, man. I thought I could do what I thought art was about self-expression. Why can't I do whatever I want? 
I'm done. Can I leave? I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I want off the wild ride. No, no. Remove. 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 No, can't remove. Remove. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's cut the pancake head for now. All right. Hey, nope. Nope, no, uh, let's take that spider off the pedestal. You got it. You could have, you chose this, could have said no. Could I have? I'm sorry. I guess that I'm being punished for not paying attention. Damn, there are stakes in this Don't story after break all. break the earth, just put it there softly. Sweet. Why? Summon the No, we're not allowed to do that. We already did our own version and, and it wasn't accepted, so no. Activate Pancake Head. You got it. Are we out of hygiene advice yet? I'm trying to think of one. We did socks. New shirt every single day. You can wear pants for multiple days in a row, but it depends on the pants and what you're doing in them. Pants last a while. All right, we're done, right? This is it. All right. Yo, can you turn that that uh, spider thingy around? See. Ironing. Ironing is a waste of time. Unless it's like a formal wear or whatever. Like, why are you ironing? All right. So the big arm is on the right, looking up. Hmm. Maybe give that spider another twist? Watch this. Mm, and again. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? Totally. <laughs> turn the spider, please. There he goes. Do you fold your clothes? Yes. All right, done. That's it. We're done. All right, finish. I feel like we're almost done. No, we are done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I Could have been Bart done any time. What? Really? DNA. Wait, what? There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Do you Thank wash you your so back? Yes. Do you? It's for your help. Okay. I Have wash fun. all of me. <laughs> Joanne is so chill about her art. That sounded That's creepier than I thought it was going to come out. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah. With I've soap, water too, yep. To video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want. In Wait for Karen to come back. Oh, she actually comes back, okay. Even eyes? Yeah, I, I take eye drops occasionally. Remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. Do you use a washcloth? No. <laughs> Whatever. You miss Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> how about some facial hair hygiene advice? Um, I don't know if I have much of that. Definitely, like, brush and or comb your beard every day if it's long enough for that. No then what? what? I just I just put the, the, the soap on my hands and I just rub it all over myself. Like, well, what do I need a washcloth for? If you like using a washcloth, then go for it. That's great. That counts. Trimming nose hairs. I just get some tweezers and I just rip them out if they're bothering me. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Super wolf to LDS glow loco. Do you scrub your legs and feet or just let the soap and water run down? Um, I do not scrub the bottoms of my feet every shower 
I think I do that about once a week because I don't like doing it because I'm afraid I'm going to slip and fall in the shower. I don't know if that's right of me or not, though. Ripping them out can kill you? I don't think so. The danger triangle is bullshit. Okay. 10-4. Okay. But you You're preach everything else? LL you. Oh, so because I don't, like, scrub the bottoms of my feet every single fucking shower, and I even admit that I probably should clean them more, and the reason I don't do it is because I'm afraid I'm going to fucking slip and fall because it gets slippery because our shower is a fucking death trap. Suddenly, everything I say is fucking hypocritical. You in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. Deal. Delete the Mario review. What is what has that got to do with anything? The place with many wings that cannot fly. Put a seat on the shower? What? That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. Don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Do you squat toilets or seated toilets? I don't use more than one toilet. I use an toilet. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. But it's just a normal toilet. It's not a squat toilet. Repeat the clue. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. They're warming up. Not too far. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Warm. Do you poop sitting down, or are you normal like the rest of us? Well, I, I have I have a penis, so I can pee and poop standing up. So the, I usually take advantage of that. Yeah. Do you stand up to wipe, or do you stay seated and lean to the side? We did this already. This is repeated. Snail this user. We had this question already. Of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. Sure. What eats the sun? Warm. This thing? Hmm. You're in the middle zone. You're warming up. Getting closer. Getting warm. Getting warm. Now you're totally frozen. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're warming up. Oh, solar panels. I was going to make a joke about that, and it is them. Okay. Do you eat? Yes, I eat. Okay, junkyard to the north of town. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Oh, hoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Do you pick your nose? Yeah, everyone picks their nose. You know where to go. That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Is this filler? It feels like filler, yeah. Hey, they're leaving the hot zone. Do you eat the boogers? Not anymore, no, no. Wrong everyone picks their nose. Now, some people might pick their nose, like, recreationally or whatever, just, like, to sit there and just pick their nose or whatever, but, like, everyone cleans their nose, like, and at some point, as you're cleaning your nose, you have to do a little bit of picking, so everyone picks their nose. 
Why did you stop? I think um, I had my like my my fourth birthday. I think that's when I gave it up. You know, just matured out of it. Ooh, looks like something's buried here. Yes, I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! I really thought it was gonna pick up in episode four and five, and it Come looked on. like it was. And now we're now we're doing this. All right. Why do people blow their nose? It is painful. <laughs> yeah. For you, w you wait. Blowing your it. nose hurts. Okay, you might need to go see a doctor about that. Like seriously, blowing your nose shouldn't hurt. Unless you blow your nose way too hard. Like, I could probably make my nose hurt by blowing it hard enough. So, like, yeah, maybe either either there's something wrong or you're just blowing way too hard. Would you stream Fortnite for $50? Absolutely not. Gotcha. Why don't you play the Spyro games on stream we'll for True Colors? Groceries. They're short and a great change of pace to avoid even more fatigue. No. I'd rather play True Colors. Would you intervene if your kids started to pick up started to pick up vaping? I would try, yeah, but ultimately my kids are gonna do whatever they want to do, right? I can't control them. If they're old enough to make that decision, then I have to just hope that I raise them well enough that they're gonna choose something else and they will take my advice and listen to me when I say, Hey, this is a bad idea. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. Mm-hmm. Did you go with Karen? I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. No. <laughs> this is such a weird fucking place. No. But that's what's cool about it. No, that's a different David. There's no way. There's no way. Going to that small town for supplies. Hey, what's up? Hey. Good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. Uh, I'm still not sure. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Das this Kapital. Time, Coming with us. By the way, huh. did you know that there's no we'll ethical see. consumption under <laughs> capitalism, Sean? Looking good. Uh, feels What's different. I don't know what that about. Yeah, yeah. Basis. Here's a book I would like you to read. Oh, rating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Yoshi. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey. So, how did you guys like your? This was better than having a life with Esteban with your with your kids. Really. The canyon. It was great. Amazing. It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Okay, th this is not this is a different David, right? Like he looks like a little but like it's a different David, right? There's no way. Oh, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Yeah. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid. He has a tattoo and play. <laughs> yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. What does the tattoo You've say? all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. I'm... Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. In memory. <laughs> yeah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals. Or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe. 
Is there like a... Is there like a book fucking thing? Like where it shows all the character? No? Too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. How did the letter get to... To her? Oh, the P.O. Box in town. Okay. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out. So I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try and be a good influence, but our bond is complicated. Does he know? We're brothers. Maybe I even fucked him up more. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Oh, no! <laughs> You're married? How many kids? Oh. You didn't tell me you were married. It makes sense for you. What do you mean it makes sense? Used to be. She died a few years ago. Did the fucking, like, the tornado just blew him here? Like, what do you mean? I'm sorry. Yeah. That's life. <sighs> but at least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> we were like oil and water. And she was always starting shit. I yes, really miss her. for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway. Did you? You can't go back. <laughs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Who the fuck else survives? Did anyone die? This kind of... Okay. If he's the only survivor, alright, that's fine. But if there's like fucking like... Oh, fucking like half the town survived. That completely undermines the fucking ending. Time out. Oh my god. I'm gonna melt. Joyce that died, thank awesome, God. Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the de He was in a fallout shelter. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's back up a second here, chat, because I need to be really fucking clear about what I'm angry about, all right? I'm angry about the ponytail. I'm angry. I'm not angry that he survived. It's fine for a couple people to survive. That's not the issue. The issue is that He's here. The level of coincidence we're on, that he's here in this story, in this game. It just so happens that the next protagonist that you, that you play, how is he here if, if you choose the other ending? He's here regardless what happens in our case. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Chloe just got shot in the stomach on my watch in the fucking school. Joyce, I'm fucking done with your shit. I'm gonna go live in the desert, get a ponytail, get a tattoo, and become cool. Fuck you, Joyce. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. One trip. Stanley's so cool. One the heat trip. is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Why is it a rest stop? Just clip to the back there. I don't understand. Why is it a rest stop? You guys are crazy. Let's have a brewski. Pound it. Oh, 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 like mother, like son. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. Yeah. What do you think of our little oasis? 
It's another world. Everybody's cool. <laughs> Everybody's very cool. Even even David Madsen is cool nobody's here. Nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Dude, I'm gonna grow well, my sure. hair out, gonna get a tattoo, it's gonna start smoking the weed, gonna hit the it. chronic. Here I go. Oh man, I'm here, cool, David. I'm not now. Get in your space. They have their own past too. Hella cool. Yeah, chat. That's why people Hella come cool. here from all over the country for their own reasons. Gonna dye my not hair blue perfect, for Chloe. It works. You live as outcasts. So peaceful here. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> I'm picking every option that gives him all the reasons to stay. Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. <laughs> Would you play a David Madsen detective game? I will play any game where you play as, as as David Madsen, and every single dialogue line is is like in this game where it only gives you a snippet of what you're gonna say, and every single time you pick something that's gonna sound reasonable for whatever reason, David Madsen fucking spaghettis it into sounding really authoritarian and way worse than he expected. Every single line, every single line is like, huh, yeah, we should we should have uh we should have uh, you know like protect the kids. Should we have more more fucking surveillance? Protect the kids. Oh, that what could go wrong? Protect the kids. Yeah, we should have more surveillance the camera to protect the kids because the fucking dumbasses they're fucking doing drugs all the time and having premarital sex around the school fuck them they need to be watched 24 7 like whoa 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 i didn't do that i wanted just to protect the kid like you know. <laughs> kiss, kiss joyce all right i'm gonna kiss her right in her kisser with my fist oh no what the fuck david what are you doing oh shit sorry you can't escape reality even here we just live slightly apart from it couldn't live here. How did you find this place? So, how did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. <laughs> well, Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can what? you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Evil? Is okay. everything okay? I'm kicking you out. Yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just it's, the our, three of us. it's our last day. All right, I'm going to go talk to David. Hey, brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> what happened to your arm? Hola. Oh. Okay. Hola, compadre. This was awkward. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Do you think, like, David's in his trailer right now, looking around, going, My God, it's a trailer. Huh. What is this place? Where did this come from? My God, it's a trailer. Good God. <laughs> <sighs> Shitter's full again. We should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. Is it you jumping off the Grand get Canyon? Enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me out. David 100% has a plunger. Oh, he has more than one. Guys, check this. He even has a plunger that he, he researched that has the more, like, 
bulbous end to it with the little bit of like rubber flap at the bottom so it has better ceiling point when you put it down that's the one i have instead of just being like a basic ass plunger that's just like yeah whatever like minimum at least i have one you know what i mean it has it has like like more of a of a, of a kick to it yeah now this is nature's art it's so big and pretty and so quiet except for the birds of prey Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh! Uh-oh. I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. No. The hunters better be careful of super wolf. Predictions on the ending? Well, I was hoping there was going to be something to do with Daniel's fucking psychic powers being a big deal in some way, or some government was going to tr agent was going to try and track him down or something, and it was going to get interesting. Like, how does he have these powers? What is he going to use them for? But now I think it's just going to be, oh, we need to get to Mexico. Oh no, it's there's some trouble getting across the border. All right, we got across the border right into the sunset. Here's the ending. Th th that's going to be it. Like. There's not a lot to do, but... So boring. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. How is this the follow-up to Life is Strange 1? Life is Strange 1 had, like, a sense of scale to it, even. Like, what is this? Like, if it wasn't for, like, the improvements to, like, to, like visuals and just basic, you know, presentation, I would say this was the first one, and Life is Strange 1 is the second one that they did after they got through this one with a smaller budget. Like, what is this? I love to come here to get away from... Away. Even the conclusion of episode two in Life is Strange One has been better than anything in this I game. Bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So many different plot threads came together. You had to use your powers. All your decisions that led up to that moment were like were a part of that, you know? You had to have been paying attention. There was a test. There were actual stakes because they took away your rewind powers for that section, you know? Like like that was pretty good. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. But you gotta get going. Thank you. Regret leaving us? <laughs> Fuck so, it. now that you know us better... <laughs> oh my god. Why did I pick that? Oh god. You kind of regret leaving and everything? No. Please say no. Please say no. No. I made a decision to never have regrets. Excuse me? Although, you two would be the best reason. Speech 100? Just know I love both of you so much. <sighs> what I the hell? You had it rough. What lady. the hell are you talking I, about, lady? It'll be better when you're settled. You could come with us. Think we'll make it? By the way, uh, if you wanted to, you could come with us. Or you could stay. To Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. But I don't want to. But my home You're is here. There. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. How? 
And they'll find us. How? How? Well, figures. This can last forever. I'm waking so, up. This is it. See you, Nana. I don't know the church fire. No, how are they tracking us from the church fire to here is my question. How? You can't just like, magically find someone. If they could follow that lead, they would have done it already. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. What are they? Floating lantern things? Whoa, really awesome. is God of War. Cool. Unless they have super Yeah, maybe they do. Maybe they let's do have super let's Yeah, let's just tell the feds exactly where we are. Oh my god. Floating light lanterns. Only a psychic child could do that. They must be in the desert. These are neat. I'm sorry, did the mom just say, like, our, like, the police are catching up to us and I don't want to go to prison for you guys, so you have to leave? But, like, nicely? And the, and the kids are like, okay. Like, Daniel's nine, Karen. He's nine. Like, I could see you being like, alright, Sean's an adult at this point, pretty much. Like, you know, I made my choice, he can leave. Daniel's nine. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone who's, like, paying attention. Look at all these fucking paying attentioners in chat. Attention payers in chat. That have been following it. And remembered he had a birthday in episode 4. I want to talk to David. Ash became independent at 10. And look where that got him. Kicked out of his own series now. Done. left groceries in the car are we leaving today's the day um are you guys all set up to leave no so that's we have to leave again why can't everybody leave us alone i'm trying oh honey she's trying How far is the border? What will you do now? What are you gonna do now? You know, back to my old life. Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to, to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? I'm gonna turn myself in. Cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. How? So they can catch me instead of you. How do they know you're involved? I guess they know you're his mom, maybe? Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. Who cares? Fair trade. That's bullshit, mom. Don't oh, yeah, Nicholas up. lived. Don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Should have killed him. 
Thank you. You don't have to. Thank you. You don't have to. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. Surely it I would be more of a help doing for you to come with us. Haven Point looking would for your rather be in prison than be our mom. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Dad didn't raise us this way. We'll do whatever it takes. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I won't I'm say goodbye to David. Go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's I don't understand how arresting her will make the police stop looking for the kids. Well, there's um, your mistake, Merrick. You You're believing her. She's not doing shit. Something for you. Yeah, okay. David, is it a gun? They're gonna drive off and she's gonna be like, Lamayo got him. Ha ha. Right to Karen. Sure, why not? Hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. I'm better withdrawing than And that writing, deci decided the, the tone of the whole still, entire letter. Here it goes. Hey, Karen. Sean here. All right. You're still an oddball. <laughs> You're still an oddball to me, but, you know, I'm glad I got to spend time with an oddball like you. Hate you. Don't give up on your freedom. So don't give up on your freedom. Despite our differences, I'm glad you get to do things your own way. Just lay low for a while. We'll try to reach you once we find our own freedom. Until then, take care. How can you live without regrets? So you're telling me that if she, like, accidentally cut her finger while she was, like, chopping onions, she would be like, oh well. Like, what? Isn't, like, I wish I hadn't done that, like, an instinctual kind of part of living? Like... Oh, I just burnt my hand on the stove. I don't learn. Alright, we left the list. Hope she doesn't find it. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go pee again, and it's been like over... It's been another two hours. So go pee. Okay, dude. Yeah, I, I am going, yeah. If you need to. Be back soon. Don't forget about David. This place has too many adults. But I'm gonna miss it.
I should go see what David wants now. It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel after all this time in a community. How's it going, Dragon's Den? <sighs> Check the RV. I'm going. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I have to go there anyway, isn't it? Like, um, whatchamacallit? It's the objective. Check on David. Or do you mean this RV? It's David's RV, right? Okay, dude. Don't forget about David. Don't forget about David. Go, go back? Wait, what? Where, where are we going? David, David, David? David's RV? Please, right. please don't let the cops come looking for okay. us. Where's here? David's RV? Cause that's a trailer. Who's the one guy now? <laughs> Sean. Hey. Aaron said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Are they fake Come plates? On. I'll join you when I'm done. Okay. All right. That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and David won't be sharing any playlist. What do you mean? Why not? Oh, yeah, it's David, all right. All right. I'm not seeing a plunger. That's kind of a bidet, right? Kinda? Hmm. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Do they? They were here? Cool portraits. <laughs> yep. Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. They were here. Wow. Yep. 
David is ready for that apocalypse. Yeah, or, he's a prepper. Look up. I'm looking up. I'm looking up. I'm waking up. Was eating those beans. Must be his wife. <laughs> Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. What do you mean? He looks better than ever. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Dear Mr. Madsen, enclosed is your most recent deposit statement from the city of Arcadia Bay as per your negotiated settlement for damages. Please ensure the amount is accurate and that your bank has processed the latest deposit. If you have any questions, please contact us Monday. What the fuck is this? Police scanner. wonder where David got this police scanner. Broken TV. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. I don't remember it being like him being really good at fixing things. That but what box? I looked at the box, didn't I? As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Yeah, I looked at the box. Warmer? Colder? Warmer? Have to deal with this shit anymore. Colder? I'm supposed to pick up the scanner, but that might kick me out of the of the of the trailer. Is there something else I'm supposed to find? Fuck, where is it? <laughs> it is very important for Jads. All right, there is nothing here. Up to the left. To the left. To the left. There's a letter down there. I can't read it. Oh, there's a box here. Damn. I see why David ended up out here. But he still was a hero. <sighs> I see the signature. All right, I was wrong. Say it again, chat. Best wishes, Victoria Chase. Dear Mr. Madsen, sorry this is so late, but how did she survive? I put the wrong P.O. box address on the envelope and the letter was returned. Hope this one finds you. I'm glad you left Arcadia Bay or what's left of it. I'm now going to therapy, which helps, but I still get nightmares. I hope that Max and Chloe are keeping you company. They're a good team. I'm still in Seattle looking over my parents' gallery. Their partner, Jessica, is great. She's taking care of everything. This will be this will is a mess, but I will be okay. Why is she sending a letter to David Madsen? It's hard to get over the fact that, in a way, I owe my life to Mark Jefferson throwing me in his fucking bunker. I get... <laughs> Wait, does that mean Mark Jefferson survived? I get flashes of his creep face all the time, but then I see yours coming to rescue me. I'll probably... Oh, that's why he... Okay, I'll probably be thanking you for the rest of my life for that. Please keep in touch at this address for a while and let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Thanks again for your service. Best wishes, V. Chase. Okay. All right. Okay, how does this thing work? Wait, what? Yeah, that does make sense. That does follow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. I only got to search between 140 and... 
Doesn't sound like cops. Sorry, I'm grooving. This it? Sam's? Oh, now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. It sounds like people oh, LARPing as cops. Thanks, David. You big rebel. Get a new hoodie, Sean. When did David rescue Victoria? So in the timeline that we've chosen where Arcadia Bay gets destroyed, Max jumped back in time before, until before the party. So they stopped Chloe from going to the party, which means that uh, in in that one, Max was never kidnapped by, by Mark Jefferson. So Mark Jefferson instead kidnapped Victoria, which was the next um, one to, to get taken. But also Max sent the text message to, to, look, at, to look into Mark Jefferson um, in the past so david madsen was looking into mark jefferson finds the bunker and instead of rescuing max like he does in that timeline he rescues victoria um so that's that's what happened that's why i just went through in my head i was like wait hold on that doesn't make sense and i was like uh actually it does yeah all because max didn't put um the polaroid in the contest yeah that's the only reason how didn't he die with Max, uh, Max helping? That's pretty true. Delightfully accurate chatter. Yep, that's true. Yes, sir. Kick the fucking, the fucking table. Apparently, Victoria just, just did that better. I think what what hap what probably happened is when David came into the room when Mark Jefferson was about to inject her, right? Because it was the exact same thing. Um, David came into the room, made that noise of the door opening, and Mark Jefferson was like, wait, what the fuck was that? And then Victoria said, hi, whore! And then Mark Jefferson was like, wait, there's another of you here! Whoa! And then he got really excited, and then he wasn't expecting Mark David Madsen to turn the corner and be like, boom! You know, he was expecting a whore. So, uh, because of that, he was able to get uh, get the drop on him. And your mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? Yep. Yeah, dude. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. What's no this tattoo, man? Surprises on your way to the border. In memory right. of Arcadia Bay? This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. This is pure Sam fan service, and most of Life is Strange fandom hates David. Why? Why do they hate him? Because he's really bad in Before the Storm. But in like Life is Strange 1, he's fine. He has some bad scenes i think there's a really bad scene with david that we didn't see so i would hate him more if we saw that but we didn't see it so to me it's not canon um because it never happened so it's not real um it, it is weird that this is the character but i guess it's the only one that makes sense i, I don't know the police are on your ass david is scum both he is absolutely not scum with life in strange one he's right the whole time y you only get one chance here I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I Joyce know. is way more scum in Life is Strange 1. He Thanks. hits Chloe in Life is Strange. Yeah, but I didn't see that, so it's not real. <laughs> that didn't happen in my playthrough. So it's like I didn't see that. So how can I comment something I didn't see? Here. Have a seat. Don't. In one timeline, Max let a bird die 12 times in a row by hitting it, it, or its head against a window and also rewound to watch Chloe get shot in the stomach while she shot a car. So, like, come on. I to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed... By that hurricane. Oh, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We 
lost. Everyone else. Jeez. How did they survive? Sorry. Because they I were at the lighthouse? I them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. Get along now? Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. Man, just this little snippet of the first game is way more interesting than in anything that has happened in this whole entire fucking thing. What the shit? <laughs> Took Don't... me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on. Like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them. And we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a Life while. Life Exchange One was so good. Whoa, whoa, Felt whoa! Good to it's okay. With my daughter, at last. Okay to good. You guys remind me of them. Let's not go In crazy. And I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you. Okay? Yeah, do you? Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. Want a new, a new life, turn myself in. <sighs> okay, considering like the weirdness around, like if Daniel's willing to, sh uh, and then and then Daniel just becomes like a, like a, a fucking lab rat. I don't know. I don't know what to do here, chat. It all depends on what they would do with, with, uh, with Daniel, right? Like, if Daniel's gonna be okay, and they understand, look, he had burgeoning, like, telekinetic powers that we can prove, like, that, and then that shows, like, hey, this is what happened, Sean isn't really, like, guilty of much. Oh, I don't know, I think maybe it might be worth the risk, I don't know. Turn myself in? I don't in. know, I might. He's, this is asking for more, right? Not actually Turn doing it? Turn myself in. After I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open think about it and daniel is growing up fast sean's committed so many crimes since then though no. okay but i committed crimes because my br younger brother revealed explosively that he has supernatural psychic powers i think is a really good explanation for a lot of people to be like yeah let's just kind of like give you a pass <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, especially like the only crime he really committed that's really bad was shooting a woman that was trying to keep them in the fucking church that was on fire because of those psychic powers. You know, fast. <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. You made it here, so I know you're on the right path. <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Is it Chloe? Hey, sweetie. Oh, it is. What's up? Oh man, Life is Strange fans mad. Quickly, run! I need to overhear the conversation. Going hella good. Oh shit! Told you, New Yorkers were assholes. Rich Amber? Dear God, it's a trailer. How about that other gallery she told me about? Oh, it's Victoria. Cool. Fingers crossed then. Me waiting in line for the Life is Strange 1 plot drips. Here I go. Mouth open, ready to accept the drips. Yeah, those solar panels are finally up and running. You'll see them next time you come by.
Next game they make in Life is Strange series is going to be a direct sequel with Max and Chloe. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. This series is in the gutter right now. They need a big win to pull it back out. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Take care then. Wish Max luck for me, okay? Bye bye. Love ya. Hank. Hank. Tell me more. Let me talk to him. Hank. Hank. They made a comic about them. Those are never canon, though. This series is in the gutter, he says. This still, as, Sorry, he says as he still has one more dumpster fire to get through. Yeah, well, this is a, before the storm into this game, into True Colors, has been, like, never-ending, like, this is the worst Life is Strange game, and then Anu going, the worst Life is Strange game so far. You know, like, like that's how it is. I'm sure number four will be way better. I'm leaving. Let's check you out one last time. Leave away. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Anano. Come here. If they ever make another Life is Strange game, will you play it? Only if chat um, wants me to. I'm not putting us through this I, again unless I'm chat thinks it's a good time. It needs to be vetted I'll by miss chat. You too, Danny. It was amazing. True color sucks more. Is it? Does it suck in a fun way so though? Because this game, both. like before, some sucks look, in a bad way. It's fight. so boring. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Just okay. talking about poop so much, Thank just because we have nothing else to do. It's not as bad. At this point, I don't believe you. Well, Sean. Nothing happens in your color. They do, they do it again? Hug? No. Hug? Okay, why would you not hug her? Like, like we've been here for so long. Thanks, Give her a Ron, hug. Oh, don't call. I didn't still Thanks call her mom. Here, what are you talking about? Thanks, Karen. That was a weird look. Let's hit the road. How many episodes does True, Col True Colors have? Ten, four, seven, ten, ten. It's ten up. Five. Has five. Five. All right. If True Colors isn't a fun time by the end of the second episode, I'm dropping it. I'm not doing this again. I'm so bored. I'm like, I'm killing my career here. Take care, boys. Bye. Bye, David. I love you. Stay safe. Are they a couple or just good friends? Bye, everybody! I got some kind of couple vibes from them. Do, 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 gal pals. Yeah, so this doesn't feel right at all leaving, but whatever. Okay, we're more than halfway done the episode, right, chat? It's time to get blindsided by some racist interaction where we get beat the shit out of us again, and then we're just gonna get to the conclusion, right?
Joe, I have never been more serious in my entire life. If you skip chapter 3 of True Colors, you will miss zero plot. You will miss absolutely nothing. You will legitimately start chapter 4 and pick up right after chapter 2, two left off. True Colors is terrible. <laughs> something wrong <laughs> isn't that true of this game too we could have just like ended episode one and then just wrote a note on the screen oh they got arrested after they threw their cell phone out of the hotel and then we just start episode four or we could go start episode five after episode one just write it on the screen and then they found their mom and stayed with them for a bit and then we just continue to <laughs> almost there okay that's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? Yeah, what's the problem what? then? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. Yeah, why are we leaving? We're like strangers. How long can we live there? What episodic point and click game are you gonna play next year? Uh, probably the Telltale Miss. We'll do Telltale Miss next year and Yeek Miss as well for fun. Live like kings. Yeah, fuck it. Forever. We can... Live like kings, dude. The dollar goes a long way there. We don't need much. Yeah, right. So who am I gonna play with? I mean, that's my plan anyway. Anu fun. hasn't told me yet, so we have to go with that. No worries. Back to school. Yeah, back to school. Don't worry, Daniel. As soon as we get to Proto Lobos, we can put all this behind you and you can go back to being a regular kid again. Time to go to school. You can make friends when you go back to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. What, you can't? How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you. I'll teach you, man. You think so? How can Daniel not speak Spanish, but Sean can? What? I, you weren't taught both growing up? Really? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Yeah, look how much they loved um, you back at that church. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> they really did love me back there. That sounds okay. <laughs> I guess. <sighs> Daniel... Scared too, Once you know. there were two wolves, be... but only one of the wolf could speak wolf. We'll so the older wolf taught the younger wolf how to speak wolf, and then they could both speak wolf. Oh, uh, that's the end of my story. Now we can both speak wolf. Yeah. And then the wolves had to cross a, a, a big wall, and they climbed. But wolves aren't all that good at climbing, so instead they dug a hole. No, he's gonna... Like, Daniel's just gonna be like, boom, wall down, right? And then he walk through it? Okay. Stop spoiling the next episode. There is no next episode! Don't do this to me. This is the last one. What, did they mute the, the, the dialogue instead here? Like, seriously, this doesn't feel like it should be silent, right? What is this? We have an hour left of this train wreck, and then we're done forever. Man, you know that scene in in, uh, in uh, The Last of Us, and also that movie with Bill Murray in it that I can't remember, and they have like two characters talk to each other, and you see them talking, but you don't hear what they say? That was fucking lit, right? Let's just do that, like, every episode, as they're just doing mundane things to add to it. Great. Lost in translation, that's it, thank you. Kind of a boring movie, not gonna lie. Maybe I'd like it more when I'm older. Would I have fun in Japan or no? Oh, God. So big. Okay. Does this exist, chat? 
Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. Shit last until Puerto Lobos. Okay. Unless our car breaks down in the desert. All right. How are we, how hey. are we getting the car over Sean, the wall? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah. <laughs> not really. Oh my god. So, why did they build one? Oh my god! I don't know, Daniel. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, not to question the racist logic here, but surely the wall should be like built at like an angle facing down around us like they should have no problem with us going that way right like if, if that like you go it's ahead fucking green now. light go for it right it's coming the, the other way that the wall is for right according to them so let, let let's just go like, like this should be easy for us right like god damn it why can't i walk through this What is that? What? 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 Woo! Did the Did they have to move this? Because this is where the sound came from. So they moved it over here so you could listen to it better when we were out of the fucking car. Like what? Wait, no, there's one there. Okay, what are we doing right now, Sean? Is it illegal to approach this thing? Ask to destroy. Okay. We're just getting this out of the way fast. This might be beyond him, Sean. So, yeah. This are, is Daniel. this is flying under the the radar. The end of the road. Finally. Yep, I agree, finally. Let's get out of here. Hmm. I wonder who could have done this. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. Stop, you violated the law. Oh, this is the reason they implemented superpowers, isn't it? Yep. They thought of this and then they wrote it backwards from here. Surely, surely it would be easier to lift the car over the wall. Surely it would be e you lifted a huge fucking tree trunk out of the out of a lake. Surely it would be easier to lift the car over the wall. I can't. It's all right. Take your time. Stay. Like, if a lot of justifiable, like, like, justifiable, if a lot of, like, you know, justifiably good plot points that happened that were bad things that, ha that Daniel experienced throughout the whole entire game, like, 
this would be a good moment if they flash back to everything that happened and as they're flashing back he's getting increasingly more angry and it's like whoa, 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 and he's like no wall down whoa, and that could be a cool moment but instead it's not it's this tell the wolf story again You're right, Super Wolf. Oh, no. Super Wolf. That's not wide enough for the truck. Do a little bit more. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Nosebleed time. Breathe. What? My powers are gone now. I can't use them anymore. What the fuck? I'm just a normal kid again. We did it. We fucked that shit up. God gave me these powers so we could get back uh, through the wall. Yes! That's the only reason for them. But the powers are the reason Dad's dead, and and like and we went through. We had to go to the wall to begin with. Uh, forget about it. Uh, it's fine. Uh, don't worry. It's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. We've done the hardest part. Is this it? We're done. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. Nah. We did it together, man. Together. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Dad died before the powers, right? No, he got shot before the powers. If he, oh, it, without the powers, they could have got a, an ambulance there. It was a stomach ocean. shot. He would have been fine. It wasn't like he got shot in the leg or anything. All right, here we go. We're done. That would be All right. cool if we could just walk to the beach. Not a car in sight, although I suspiciously can't see above that that crest over there. Oh, what's that over there? Shopping. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. Yeah. Oh no! Not again. Daniel. Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Wait, he got shot... Do we just gloss over the fact that he got shot before? What happened with that? Okay, whatever. No way, not now! Same place, right? Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, uh, uh. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel, Daniel Madison? Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. No, we're trying to leave. Daniel! Oh, okay, then go. So what's the plan, huh? Say I it. Bet there's a dozen more coming through. No, we're trying to right? leave. No! Say it. We're leaving. Going to Mexico, I swear. Wait, wait. Who would want to go to Mexico? You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> that's fucking funny. Our truck is right there. Look, we're American. That's not gonna work. Whatever. We're Americans. Americans, damn it. No, it's not legal to blow up wall. Why don't you just say it's the fucking truck? Okay, whatever. That's called terrorism. You get it? Look, look like a terrorist. <laughs> Listen, it's a long story. We really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border ten miles away. So tell me the plan. Wait, could we? Well, I didn't know that. I'm a dumbass. That was not us. You're not cops. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No. <sighs> Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Man, she's really enjoying this. Honestly, I don't know, chat. This one feels the most realistic oh, I shouldn't say realistic again this one feels the most plausible and earned to me I don't know why of the of the three I think this one feels the most right to me I think yeah, don't move 
Not really. Well, I kind of feel like there there would be people that do this shit where they're just kind of like, I'm gonna go patrol the wall and like like running into someone here kind of makes sense to me uh, rather than just being like, oh, I just ran into like an Uber tier racist at the gas station. Oh, I just ran into an Uber tier racist while I was sleeping in the desert with my lights off and how the fuck did they even see me while I was sleeping in my car? You know what I mean? Like th like like this seems the most plausible to me and th how they act also seems the most plausible to me because they the only people that would be this like like. Like, um, like extreme would be the ones that would put themselves in this situation to like take it upon themselves to patrol this place. I think, right? What? I don't what know. Fuck? I think this seems the most uh, plausible off. to me. Stop, Joe. No, I'm sorry. It's that's way more plausible to meet in the gas station. It's more plausible to meet a guy in a gas station that takes it upon himself to accuse accuse the Sean of stealing, then knocks him out, imprisons him in his in his fucking office. Really? Like meeting a race at a gas station, sure, but like one that goes that far. Okay, whatever. Chad was just saying yes. <laughs> All right, I what thought we were done. What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's Time to go to the police station. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. They shot a kid in the head. No, they shot, they shot him in the shoulder. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <laughs> fuck. How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it. You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals. Fuck's sake! What I say? Uh oh. Okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? Who the hell are you? Daniel! What? I'm sorry, are you Sean? Yeah. Sean hey, Diaz? You're under arrest. <laughs> you're under arrest. Oh, I thought we were done! Oh, for fuck's sake! No! I thought we were just gonna try- oh, I'm so upset. It really makes you feel like you've been imprisoned. You really thought they could 1v1 the wall? It was 2v1, actually. Who the fuck are you? Nice beads, bro. Don't look at me. This has been. See. Yo soy Diego, mi, mi, mi esposa Carla, y este frijolito de aquí es, uh, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Yeah, we're going to see him soon when he bursts through the wall. Uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. All right, time to take out the sketchbook. Oh, I lost all my money again. I hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. That wasn't what I wanted to say. We're out, we're not coming back. Ugh, this place is fucking gross. Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. We aren't illegal trying to reach Mexico. When was that? We're trying to reach Mexico. In reality, um, 
Queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. No tired, you're brave. Why? Yeah, he did say gringo. It, is, does, does gringos mean American? I don't know Spanish. Not tired, why? You're brave? You're, you're, why? Why? Porque necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente. It's foreigner? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that could make sense. You're just kind of translating a bit. No podemos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue... Secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos pedido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Isn't it the easy way? What my father did. Not in El Dorado, not in El Dorado, not in El Dorado. Los Estados Unidos. No es el paraíso que esperan. En serio, mucha gente viene aquí pensando que van a vivir el American Dream, pero muchos no lo logran. Sin embargo, tenemos que probar. Nosotros también merecemos un poco de esperanza. No quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Why does this conversation exist? Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Is he going to come out of this and be like, I guess we're not going to go there after all? It's getting better. I'm pessimistic. I'm not even following this, to be honest. It's getting better. Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero... Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. You're generalizing. Immigrants built the country. Stop causing trouble. Actually, every single uh, report from any economist worth their salt shows that uh, having more immigrants come to your country increases the economy for everyone and everyone benefits. And sure, there may be a small, very, very slight, maybe a period of months or a very little year that the overall quality of life may go down like a, a, a fucking minuscule amount. But overall, everyone benefits and the country is better off for it. So shut the fuck up. Like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. Mm -hmm. See, you love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our Siéntate, country. Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tiene razón, amor. No vale la pena. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. Oh, no. I jailed you. Not a break. Loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey! 
You have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? Whoa! Right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. What do you mean? Hands behind your he back. He got shot! Just tell him! Okay. Let's move it. Time to recap the whole so, game. So what did you do? Where's my brother? This. He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Thank you. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? This guy seems somewhat reasonable, but maybe he's playing okay. good. Maybe he's good. playing good cop. Be right back. Good, just wondering. I'm not gonna get it for you though. <sighs> Fuck. Great. Okay. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's alright. Alright, one of the lights gonna start flickering and he's gonna blast through the fucking wall. Let's go, come on. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Break? How can I break? I can't I break handcuffs. There's no point in getting these off. Yeah. There are cops everywhere. Okay. W what would this even look like? Let's try. Break. Of course not. Oh, Lamayo, couldn't do it. Joe, can you read the analog clock? 6.15. Why? So tired of all this shit. Dude. How am I gonna get Dude. myself out of this mess? Dude, I don't think you are. Dude. 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 How long... Is it until New Year's in Canada? Uh, here we got another, I think, five and a half hours. Okay, am I supposed to be doing something right now, or are just supposed to, to, to listen to the idiots outside? Oh no, not solitary. Okay, I guess the coffee was just a bit. All right. Oh, he has it. Thank you. No Nesquik. There you go. Looks. Thanks. Like you need it. Throw it in Thanks. his face. Throw it in his face. Oh. It's piping hot coffee. Throw it in his face. Do it. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously. Damn. Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel I'm so gonna need awesome. that coffee back. I didn't realize you've done all this shit. I'm just gonna keep drinking the coffee. At least it'll keep me up. Yeah, you keep drinking that coffee. Oh, it's done. No more coffee. Stupid cup. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. Is it? It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. What do you mean, quite a crime spree? We... Okay. Cop car explodes. That really wasn't us, though, but whatever. After that, we run away. We steal a chocolate bar. We get, uh, we get, like, we, we're accused of stealing something from a gas station. Then we're gone for a while. And then we... What do we do after that? What do we do in episode two? I can't even remember episode two. I just played this game this week. I can't even remember episode two. What was episode two? Episode three was the, the, the weed farm. What the fuck was episode two? We're like, oh, that's when we stayed at our grandparents. Okay, we did nothing there. We did n nothing illegal there. Um, you know. Yeah, whatever. Killing that officer in Seattle. Oh, yeah, we did make that cop run over the kid. Yeah, that's true. That was completely our fault. Assaulting a gas station clerk. No, those things didn't happen. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then... You join a religious commune in Nevada, and its leader is found dead short after. I don't hmm. join shit. And we're not even halfway down the list. One I of those things. Th I think we are, actually. I think we're more than halfway down the list. Things you could get away with. 
Really? But not all that. What? Really? I can explain. I can explain. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. Yeah. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. But sure, throw another innocent in jail. I don't really care. <laughs> you do, though. I bet she'd be happy to hear that. Why are you talking Listen, to him, Sean? Oh, because of the I coffee. I feel sorry for you. Okay. I really do. Mm -hmm. But denying what you did will only make things worse. I had to. It wasn't my fault. I had to. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed it. I panicked and it was too late. No one would have believed it. No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled. How come no one's asking then what happened? <laughs> to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. Oh, nice. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. How many? At least he'll get a life. Oh, here we go! In Canada, in Canada, Sean would be completely fucked. In Canada, Sean might go to prison. Maybe even for three years. Like honestly, he looks he might have been doing three years in prison after all this. Seriously. Three hard rock solid years, maybe out in parole in two. Like 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 damn. Uh what I don't get is how two kids can murder in three years. Some some guy, I think I think he got out in five years. Some guy drunk drove from back from an airport and he had like a history of drunk driving and he just plowed through another car and just killed like an entire family an entire family and i think he was out in five years like canada's kind of nuts when it comes to like how they uh judge crimes and stuff i think he killed like at least three people i think it might have even been four and he had a history of doing it before that too so much stuff i mean anywhere you went something blew up not murder and not unreasonable. Ooh, we're gonna have a fight. You know what? I'm not touching this one. I don't want to fight again. Seriously. How? Random accidents. We're super villains. We're super villains. What do you want me to say? We're super villains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? It's supervillain power. Sir? I don't think you Keep should- Keep your ass in that seat. Hey, Daniel. You okay? How do you feel? I I'm okay, just a little headache. Why do you have a bandage around your chest? Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. He didn't get shot in his chest. He got shot in his shoulder. Why does he have a bandage around his chest? We gotta go. Sean. Hey, can you kill them too, please, Daniel? Well, shall we try to make peace with these morons? Nope. Well. Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail. We're doing this now? As for the others. They're the ones who try to shoot you. Really? Bet they deserve a lesson. <laughs> sure. They actually do. Time for payback. What do you want now? Your turn, Daniel. Fuck off! Don't mess with this kid. I mean it! 
Yeah. That's what they get. It's me. Assholes. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel. Wow. That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espera en aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. What would happen if I let them out? Would they be like, oh, okay, we're friends now, or? That's what he gets. He's out for the count. Take his gun. I mean, he's moving. Call, how much money do I have? Oh, nothing. Okay, where's my okay, bag? Oh, shit! Don't move! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the hell is do this? Do not move! Wait! Sean? Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. Crush them. Now. Got it. Okay, stop! I said... Oh! <laughs> what are the other two doing? Weren't, known weren't there more yeah. than two? You saved our asses. Why wasn't the game so, like this the whole time? I think our fans are in there. All right, open it. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Rifle. After this. You're not gonna hunt shit anymore. What? They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Look at that. Crime Central. There's probably more of them coming. Let's go. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. It freaks me out when he uses it to blow up shit. Take it out, Daniel. That didn't look good. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go! Let's roll, Daniel. So... Hurry, Sean! Did you kill Hurry! everyone else before this, or...? Oh. Is that our same truck? They brought it here and just parked it in the parking lot? Chasing us. Because you killed them all. Not yet. Emergency. Best part of the game coming up. The credits? I know. I'm excited. In the area. Multiple prisoners. Two adults and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. No, really? We got nowhere else to go. Do 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 You're right. Remember Independence how Day. He was so in the fireworks every year. Is he gonna get shot again? He always made us go too early, so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He was so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country.
But trying to prove they're not murderers, they became murderers, sounds like a Witcher 2 joke. Yeah, it's an interesting question to think of, right? Like, if... If you didn't do a crime, and no one's ever going to understand that you didn't do it, and in order to survive, you have to start committing crimes, are you are you morally in the right? And I kind of want to say you're not. I don't know. I think it's a tough one. Thanks for the gift subs nowhere. Thank you very much. Like if you were if you were wanted, uh, this is hard because there's like like laws and shit. Like I don't know. Like so let's let's say you were um you were suspected of murdering somebody, right? And you didn't do it. Like you absolutely did not do it. And there's no way, there's no way in hell that um, a court is going to believe you. Like you're gonna go to prison for the rest of your life for for murdering someone even though you didn't do it, right? So let's say that you are on the run and. In this hypothetical, the person who is on the run is going to have to kill three people in order to, on, on their journey on the run, until they finally get into hiding so they can live the rest of their life without um, any problems. Morally, should they just go to prison? Or is that self-defense? Like and the people that are coming after them are like are like vigilantes. They're not like they're not police officers. They're just like, oh, I heard that you you killed that person. I'm mad at you. I'm coming after you. Like, if someone's trying to kill you or or grab you and put you in prison and it's you didn't do it, are you morally justified in defending yourself, even though it's gonna end up with like three people dead? I really don't know, man. That's hard. That's really hard. Like, in terms of, like, weighing it, like, going to prison is the net good for the world because fewer people are dead, right? Like, you're going to suffer a lot in prison, but, like, your life isn't over. You're just going to jail. Like, it's still, I mean, like, just going to jail. Like, jail's hard, but, like, y your life isn't over. Whereas if you resist that because it's unjust, you're going to end up killing three people and three people are dead. Like, this is this is a very hard question, I think. But it's three shitty people. Are they? I don't know. Like, what if you were guilty of like, like not guilty? What if you were like suspected of killing like a kid? And these are people that are very like, they feel like very a strong sense of justice. They're not searching for you, but they kind of run into you. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to. I know this sounds stupid, but I'm trying to make the hypothetical that the three people you're gonna kill are like the best possible people they could be in that situation. You know, like I just, I just trying to, I'm trying to put strain on the hypothetical. You write that. Well, I mean, what if you can't, what if you can't like, I'm, I'm, I am God of this scenario. And I am telling you in this scenario, in this hypothetical, there is a man that is wanted for the, for killing a, killing a child. He didn't kill the child. He, he's completely innocent. If he goes, if he goes to courts, he is absolutely going to be found guilty because I am God of this hypothetical. I'm telling you. I am telling you that he, the person who is guilty is going to like just be in jail forever and he can get to run away and get, and get a life somewhere else. And he can, he can live out the rest of his life in innocence and no one's going to bother him. But in order to get to that point, he's going to have to kill three people who, who think that they're doing the right thing by trying to bring down a, a murderer that is trying to escape justice. Like what is the right thing to do in this hypothetical for this person who is um, suspected of killing someone when they didn't do it? And I really don't know what the right answer is. It doesn't seem fair to be like, sorry, you just have to go to prison. I don't know. It's interesting. Shit. Because, I mean, that's pretty much what, what happened here, right? Like, this is this is why we're talking about it. This is pretty much what happened to Sean. Oh, no. Okay. Why are we are we stupid? Why are we continuing to drive until the police... Okay. You didn't Sean, see them? We can't let them get us. Yeah, Daniel, just kill them all. Come on. Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Are the vigilantes going to kill you or, or just citizen arrest you? Citizen arrest. They're not they're not trying to kill you, but if they do catch you, you're gonna be going to prison and you're 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 dead. 
You know, like, like oh, you're not dead. Well, maybe it'd be better if it was dead. Like, let's say that there's the death penalty and where you are. I don't know. I'm changing the hypothetical a bit. No, wait, well, let's just keep playing. Sorry. Just like to think about things. You know that day? In the Seattle? walls? The day Dad was shot? I think about it every day. No. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you were the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we Only surrender, we had taken another vehicle. They will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Please, don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I hate promises. I'll try. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? <laughs> with the little wolf, with Super Wolf going sicko mode. Hella. They make it to the other side. Sonic Quick Time event Be music careful. starts. <laughs> No way one of them doesn't get a shot at this kid after he starts doing the psychic power shit. Come on. No way. Okay, and the they fuck? shoot him. He's dead. That's it. Uh, GG. No re. Okay, we're doing re. Alright. Uh, One at a time. Shoot. There's no way to stop him. Oh, he can stop bullets now. Okay, cool. What about the one behind him? There's two cops behind him. doing the whole time oh man that looked terrible Couldn't have just, like, blown the car over the wall somewhere else? No? Alright. Just make another hole in the wall somewhere else?
The tattered clothes of, of Daniel show that he has a cape almost, reminiscent of superheroes in comic book we films. We can go now. Yeah. However, the fact that it is a tattered t-shirt instead of an actual cape shows that he is more of a villain. The asymmetry of the tatters and the cape-like quality. Oh, well, you're gonna pop a tire right now, bro. Oh, well, shit, we're done. So if you pick surrender, Daniel would have just gone, no, I'm not surrendering, and gone out and did that anyway, right? Because choices don't matter? Alright. How much better would that have been if the episode 3? Yeah, if that was the end of episode 3, and then there's two more episodes of them trying to find a life in Mexico, and Daniel, like, getting out of control, and Sean struggling with that, and then there's, like, more to say there, that would have been cool. Alright. We're done. Oh, we got there. Nice. Live reaction of someone playing the game? What the fuck? Please don't be one last, hey, look around and read some stuff scene. It is, isn't it? Diaz Repair Shop. Six years after the events at the border. a good day. Let's frame it. Isn't it amazing that if Max and Daniel had a fight, Daniel wouldn't stand a chance? He'd be like trying to fight a weeping a weeping angel, right? Like Max would just be like whoop 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 like neck snap like like what could you do? Take the shot. Oh, he's he's evil Sean now. Oh no! And 
no one came to bother them. doing well all right so what's the bad ending this is clearly the good one I guess there's a neutral neutral one where like Daniel gets here but uh, Sean goes to prison and the bad ending is that they, they they both go to prison like what's the bad ending there is no bad ending okay endings take a look on YouTube. Nope, I don't think I will. This is the bad This is the bad ending. What's the good ending then? They win the lottery and the like they find a unicorn and they go back to America and everything's fine and Daniel becomes the president. Like like if this is the bad ending, what's the good ending? They, in the good ending, they find Max, who has trained her powers to be able to rewind just specific points in time now instead of everything. And they find the, the dad, and she just rewinds the dad, and just the dad, and just like, and now the dad's back. Also, then they go back and rewind the mom, and, and just erase her lack of family caring or whatever, and then they get to have their mom and their dad. And then Max turns to Chloe, and they kiss, and everyone claps. You decided to force the roadblock and Daniel accepted, 32%. Alright, overall you taught Daniel to put himself and his brother first. Overall you taught Daniel to do his best to follow the rules of society. Yeah, because those were worth following considering what happened. Holy shit, that's it? No choices to compare with, based. You did the treasure hunt and found the hidden souvenir. You overall kept your distance distances with Karen. Did we? I thought we did okay with her. Alright, you wrote a con conciliating note to Karen. Uh, who's writing a caring note to Karen? You didn't say farewell to Arthur and Stanley. Oh, I didn't know I could. You didn't say farewell to Joan. Aw, Dan. You hugged Karen before leaving. You intervened to calm Diego in the cells. You freed the Mexican couple. You didn't ask Daniel to free the vigilantes. You asked Daniel to take revenge on the vigilantes. Who's doing who? 20%? Really? That's it? You asked Daniel to kill the officers to escape through- Who? Who is like, you know, this'll be fine? Why- they, they're armed! Why take, take the risk? They have guns pointed at fucking... Sean. Am I a monster or are people dumb? I don't get it. They- <laughs> I guess if you're metagaming, then people aren't dumb. It's like, well, there must be a way through it, right? <laughs> But, like, I try and take it a little more seriously than that. Daniel wasn't told off about the scorpion. Daniel managed to set up Joan's sculpture with, with your help. Daniel wasn't concerned about Officer Campbell. Daniel wasn't asked to free the vigilantes. Daniel accepted to take revenge on the vigilantes. Daniel killed the officers when leaving the station. Daniel was okay to kill the officers. And that's it. Alright. Thanks for playing and following Sean and Daniel on their journey. Sean and Daniel will return in Smash Bros. Discover, buy more page. Alright. So this sucked. 
Better than Odyssey? No. Worse than Before the Storm? No, I don't think it was. It at least had a story it was trying to tell, and if you take, if you just remove episodes two and three, you have three episodes left, and there is some sort of narrative there, and it does, it does get to something. It is better than Before the Storm. As much as I would love to, um, to, to say that they get worse with every game, um, I, I think Before the Storm was worse than this. This was worse to watch. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you don't want to watch, don't watch. It's fine. You're not going to miss the birth of many, too many new memes. Before the storm was entertainingly awful, though. This was born. Before the storm was entertainingly awful. The only parts of Before the Storm that were entertainingly awful were the back chat parts, and even those weren't that frequent. Elliot showing up out of nowhere was hilarious, I will admit. I'm hoping True Colors is going to be like that. I hope True Colors is really cringe. Are you not going to watch the other endings? Nah, I won't. Not on stream, at least. Maybe I'll watch them later. Is this better than any of the David Cage games? Maybe Heavy Rain. Maybe Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain is really bad. Are we, like, including how entertaining they are in, like, a cringy, ironic way in that? Heavy Rain is really funny. Norman. Heavy Rain is more entertaining and interesting. Is it, though? It's more entertaining. Is it more interesting? Is it, though? Nam and Jaden. Do you like or hate Chloe with blue hair or green hair? I, I hate her no matter what color her hair is. I don't. Her hair color doesn't factor into it. Do I have true colors already? I have true. Uh, chat. I bought it already. We're gonna play it. All right. Daddy ain't gonna waste fifty bucks. All right. I have it. God, the main character looks awful. The main character looks like something from a, like one of those CGI kid shows like Paw Patrol or whatever. What is this? All right. So, now what you've all been waiting for You mean 15? I don't know. I got it in a bundle, I think. I don't know how much this was. Adventure Gamers, 90 out of 100. Life is Strange 2 explores a touching, special relationship between two brothers that will make your heart hurt in the best possible way. Jew Video says, despite a quite disappointing beginning, the story of Life is Strange 2 gets more and more intense and climaxes in the final episode, which concludes an incredible adventure that lasted more than a year. 3D Jugo says, Life is Strange 2 tells us a new story to address some of the most, the most complex issues of modern society. It usually does it with skill, as there are good pens in the studio... What? And some forced situations can make it somewhat implausible at times. Merit Station says, The fifth and final chapter of Life is Strange 2 lets us say goodbye to the story of Sean and Daniel. Even though it has flaws and the ending is not as powerful as we wish, it's still an interesting story to live with wonderful characters and important themes like racism, excuse me, and the liberty to be who we are. Game World Navigator Magazine says, 
Diaz Brothers, a 70 out of 100. Diaz Brothers undoubtedly have their charm, but they can't compete with Chloe and Max. Let's hope that next time developers will focus on, on actual story rather than current political agenda. PC Games. So here we go. PC Games is back. Life is Strange 2 is a good adventure with a story about growing up, moral challenges, and society issues. The road trip character of the narrative offers a great variety of sceneries, but also comes with a lot of problems like lackluster side characters. True! Edge Magazine, 50 out of 100. Its heart is in the right place, but its feet are not. <laughs> and when you're walking a new path while it's doubling down with this... There's always going to be a problem. Where's like the IGN review? Did IGN review this? Seven point four out of ten. A little something for everybody. Whoa. Okay, where's the review? Review. Did they really not review it? Why can't I find the review? Episode 1 review. Oh, because it was episodic, it was kind of like... Life is Strange 2 is Beautifully Boring by Dylan Burns. Sometimes taking it slow is the best way to immerse players. Life is Strange 2 is about two brothers escaping a strange situation. It's also about family, brotherhood, survival, racism, individualism, and social con conformity in Trump's America. It is an experience in which the gameplay interactions and narrative were purposefully dissonant. No, the plot moves forward in the form of in-engine scenes, whereas the verbs the player performs are tightly restricted and functionally mundane. Okay. What makes Life is Strange 2 compelling is nothing the that the rewards on offer aren't the usual upgrade trees or random loot drops <laughs> but instead deepening characters histories and interactions when the player does take control gameplay options are deliberately narrow and often non-essential you truly do need to behave like a big brother what you do is equally important as what you say so what do you do in life is strange 2 well you move sean <laughs> altar of two brothers through narrowly defined spaces like the interior of a house or the linear path of an empty road. You look at things, objects, paraphernalia, pictures, and the like. Sean will have a dry comment for each thing, his perfunctory elaboration attaching new details and backstory to objects. For example, you might find some of Sean's mother's mother, Sean's mother, Karen. What? That doesn't make sense, does it? Um, and poetry, but given the fact that she left the family shortly after Daniel's birth, the object is soured from his perspective. For the player, this makes you curious about Karen's motivations and the events of the past. These eventually get explored in the form of flashbacks and a meet-up with Karen. Who's a good boy, says the subtitle. Where's the end? I want the conclusion at the end. Hold on. Life is Strange 2 succeeds in being unique because of its adherence to the slower aspects of living and surviving. It brings out beauty through calmness and contemplation, despite its serious subject matter and lack of subtlety when it comes to its racist, xenophobic, and religiously fanatic antagonists. Life is Strange 2 is an uplifting experience about family, loyalty, love, and belonging. So if you prefer to put the controller down during story scenes or find yourself si sifting through Sean's com completed sketches multiple times, that's okay. You are meant to enjoy the quiet moments because that's all there is. The but I added that. The butter between the bread. And when you get like more bread between bread and when you get to the end, well, let's just say we hope you have been a good brother to Daniel. He will remember everything.
I didn't want people criticize gaming as a whole by saying like, lol, you won't have skill trees or loot boxes in this game, and that's never happened before, as if games haven't tried to be more than that before, even if they're still in their infancy, as you say. I don't think that's what they were saying there in that review, although, you know, I've already forgotten exactly how it was worded, but um, I see what you're saying, yeah. You know, ooh, this game is trying to be different, it's trying to focus on the story. It's like, yeah, there's been lots of games that have done that, you know? A lot, there's a lot of old games that have done that. Video essay on Life is Strange 2? No, because then I'm going to have to replay it. I'm not doing that. Fuck no. Yeek, for example. Alright, time to do it. Steam reviews. All right, I want negative reviews. Reviews, please. Why can't I sort the reviews? Usually I can sort the reviews by negative. What? Can I only do that, like, in the Steam program? Excuse me. There are no negative reviews. True. What the fuck? I can't sort it. Why can't I sort it? Okay, if I hit browse at the bottom, like, did they did Steam change the shit? Not recommended. 3.6 hours on record. I went into this game really hopeful. Episode 1 was great. What? The atmosphere was great. The story hook was great. And everything felt really immersive. Drugs? It felt like you really were in the shoes of Sean. Desperately trying to protect himself and his brother in such a messed up situation. The only gripe I had with it was the facial animations were practically non-existent. And the voice acting was a little rough. And it brought me out of the story at times. I thought little of it, however, as it was still the first episode. And episodes were, were to take longer to come out than the first game. When the second episode came out, I was more than a little disappointed by the lack of facial animation. <laughs> I see a trend. Episode 5 review. So when episode 5 came out, there still weren't facial animation. <laughs> I'm a little upset. Oh my god, it keeps going. This is so long. So I'm so too <laughs> <laughs> but the voice acting did seem better. The second episode, story-wise, still felt like a natural progression to the story. Though the time skip was a little off-putting, everything still worked. The direction the story was going was clear, the stakes were clear, and it still felt immersive. I had a couple issues with how they handled a few things, but again, I enjoyed it more than I had issues with it. Then comes episode 3. Episode 3. Still no improvement on the facial animation. <laughs> worse than the first episode true the time skip mix caused another bump in my ability to remain connected with the story and dear god and dear all gods daniel became the most annoying little scamp i've ever been forced to play alongside the first bits i could have, uh, could have gladly ignored if they continued with having lovable and relatable characters but daniel went from your kind of annoying little brother to a total brat sean is then blamed for this transition for doing little other than having other friends completely despite the fact daniel has his own other friend too true the other the story takes an odd turn which could be justified with were, were the execution a little better but the time skip gets rid of any execution at all you are simply thrown into it and it is apparently what you have been doing for a while the time skips feel less like a way to keep their st the story going and more like a way to ignore doing extra writing and the story is suffering greatly for it. Yeah, I agree with that actually. The fourth episode. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The fourth episode, actual spoilers from here on, is what managed to make me lo lose faith in the game. We were greeted to yet another time skip I'm, I'm like, I'm so, I'm waiting for the facial animation comment. Sean having been in the hospital for a decent chunk of time and about to go on trial and Daniel is missing. Now I was forgiving, 
Now, I was forgiving and thought we were in for an interesting start with the hospital escape. Then a scene happens that seriously rubs me the wrong way. Sean takes a break from driving to sleep, and it turns out that he is in the private property of racists. I do not know if this can be avoided, but for me, at least it ended with Sean getting the living heavens beat be out of him. And then nothing happens. The scene does not matter later in the story. It's just there to give Sean some more pain on top of all the pain he's already in. Which was really hard to tell because of the lack of facial animation. I do know. I do not know if they added it in, in either because they wanted their main character to suffer more or if they thought this was clever writing relating to topical events happening right now but the scene could have been removed from the game and literally the game would be exact the exact same this is not good writing all right he didn't say it then we come to the part the part where we finally see Daniel again and he is in some sort of cult and praised as a sign from God. The all immersion of this with the story I held on to was thrown out the window. This is so far away from the original presented story that I don't I do not even know where the writers are taking this anymore. It turned out nowhere, and trust me when I say that that is not a good thing. I trust you. Sean is then promptly blamed for being a dad a, a bad brother. Sorry, I read that wrong. Despite all the co constant sacrifices he makes to keep Daniel happy and healthy. I will bring that up that Bring that up later, because if you have played the game, you know exactly where this goes from bad to full-on unhealthy and problematic. Sean then gets to meet his mother, who I guess shows her face again to save Daniel despite abandoning both her children and her husband. You can tell they try to make you make you like this character, but as someone who has both who has had both parents abandon them, it didn't work. Maybe for some people it did, but her only ex it actually did work on most people, considering that all of them fucking like like wanted to bond with her and shit, right? Maybe for some people it did, but her only excuse is being forced into the role of a mother by society, so she couldn't live out her dreams. That pissed me off so much. I did not have words. Maybe it would have been fine if she still remained as part of their lives, or if she even at least wrote them letters, or at least let them know she still cared. But no, she was gone without a trace, and we are supposed to be okay with that because society made her. That is beyond upsetting and treats Sean and Daniel less like children and more like burdens to her. Finally, everyone bands together to free Daniel. I really could not care less about what anyone, about anyone except for Sean, who is the only character in this game I still like. Which is just wonderful as we are treated to him getting beat up over and over to prove that he really does care about Daniel. What in the ever-living hell did Sean do to deserve that? He, he has shown nothing but concern over his brother, who has constantly disregarded him and acted like a brat. Heaven's for a bit he spent a bit of time with friends while still taking care of his brother. I really, really do not know how what the writers are going with here. The scene was disturbing for reasons I do not think they were intending. The only way I can think of this being anything but poor writing would be if they go with the clever route of actually showcasing this behavior as dangerous and Daniel is an antagonist who refuses to learn. I really think that might be the only saving grace of the story, paired with proper facial animations and voice acting. Because, oh my, did they drop the ball on this <laughs> so, so hard the ball shattered, and we were left with a bunch of expressionless characters and unfitting voices <laughs> acting out what can only be described as a soap opera that has gone on so long they needed to, com to go completely off the wall for shock value. <laughs> I can't believe it came back at the end. I thought he got over it. And then I thought the sh the drop ball was going to be about like the story, but no, it was still the fucking expressionless faces. Holy shit. Oh, okay. I think we don't need to read anymore. Is there a short one? I am being kind when I say this game is contrived and shallow. Coming from someone who places Life is Strange in the top 20 games of all time, and I've been gaming since the days of Pong, lie, that's a really hard thing for me to say, but this game is a poor rendition of what made Life is Strange so great. Truthfully, this game is an embarrassment to most anyone's intelligence. Wow. Wow. Wow, there are a lot of, like, like, essays people wrote about this i have never seen like 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 i i don't know if they're well crafted but they're well presented like they're, like this is in depth i've never seen negative reviews that have been like this on a game before like people who don't like this like like know why they don't like it 
Like, holy shit. Usually people who don't like something are like, yeah, this sucked, it was boring, fuck it. Like, like no, like, people are like, I don't like this, and here's why. Like, I really don't like this, and I'm fucking gonna tell you. Like, I know, right? Life is Strange 2, Episode 1, is a ridiculous hyperbole, and here's why. Wait for at least the second episode to come out. The voice acting and script are very subpar at first, but gets better as the episode goes on. The music, art, and animations are slightly better than the first game. I am not recommending this episode for the simple fact that the inciting actions, that the inciting actions are comically written to the level of mustache-twirling villains. Specifically, the idiot and incompetent cop who pulls a gun on a couple of kids after seeing a fight and then accidentally shoots their father. To a Pacific Northwest gas station, owner that punches a teenager, ties him to a pipe, then kicks him in the face, threatens to have him deported while questioning his citizenship, and then casually mentions, you're the reason we need to build that wall. Well, when you sum it up like that, I mean, you're not supposed to say <sighs> not recommended. Sean, Daniel, please don't do something stupid. Daniel, I'm not a kid anymore. Does something stupid. Q credits apply to each respective episode. Nice. All right, I think I think I think we're done now. I think we're done now. I'm I'm like frantically scanning to see if there's any other funny ones. Alright, so let's do it as a treat. Okay, do I want to play Life is Strange 2 Colors with DirectX 12 or just normal? Now that Life is Strange 2 is over, how would you rate Captain Spirit? Like, who gives a shit out of 10? Like, why does this even exist out of 10? But it's inoffensive, I guess. Oh, something just cracked. What the fuck? GPU just like kicked on the fan. What was David's tattoo? Life is strange. True colors. Oh man, how colorful. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. The game features accessibility options to customize each player's ref experience. Would you like to adjust these settings before proceeding? Uh, okay, is one of the accessibility options is that if I have tasted the media, you're gonna give me a lobotomy before I play? No, I'm good. Skip. Nope, I'm not licking anything. I'm good, thank you. What, all this shit that has to come in. All right, so, um, subtitles, hella? On, subtitle size, large, extra large. Damn, all right. No. All right. Uh, language and subtitle. No. Uh, audio. Audio. I want. What the hell? Live stream. Crowd. No. 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 Oh, no. No. Give your audience full democracy and automatically submit winning dialogue choices or choose suggestion to allow yourself to make the final decision. Enable while playing on live stream perform platform to allow your audience to help make choices. All right. You need to connect to Square Enix members account to use this. I don't want to do that. I don't have a Square Enix fucking members account. Just the way I just go. 
play Steph's story? What do you mean, Steph's story? Alright, new game. Alright, let's see. What's the intro? Life is strange. Shoot colors is a story-based game that features player choice, reactions, decisions will have consequences for Alex and those around her. Choose wisely. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he what lives is in Haven smile? Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? What? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people. Could her glasses be any bigger? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex... You know that I care about you. With everything that has happened... I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Alright. Voice actress is pretty good for the, for the main girl. Alright. That's a relief, at least. Life is strange. True colors. True, true colors, you mean? True colors? No saying true for this whole playthrough. You have to say... If you say true in chat, you have to say colors at the end. You have to. True, true colors! You have to say true colors. Chapter 1, side A. Is there a side B? True, true, true colors. Alright, is there supposed to be music right now? Very Bus America. True colors. Great vegetables. Who wears denim? Why is it lagging? It's a fucking Life is Strange game! Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. What? I have an RTX 3090! Why is it lagging? Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. I don't think we're playing on DX12 chat. I think we're turning DX12 off. Turn post processing down. What's the GPU like that? Like a furnace? No, it's not that hot. It's the game. The GPU isn't even that that taxed right now and not even video rendering fucking caps my CPU. Like there's there's no fucking way. The game just sucks. Unlimited. Excuse me? That's it. 30, 60, or burn your fucking GPU to the ground. Alright, thank you so much, Life is Strange. Ray tracing, yes. J just yes. Yeah, I would like some ray tracing, please. Like, n no, like, hey, I want a little bit more? Like, a little bit less? No, just yes. Yes, I'm turning that off. Fuck it. All right, there we go. Are we good now? Any stuttering? It is, is, is what it is. Okay, can I look at my hand? Can you turn on music to see if there's meant to be music here? All right, let's see. No. Do you like your ray tracing medium or rare? Medium. You turn it off? What, what did I turn it off? What do you mean I turned it off? I turned mute, mute licensing music off. 
I didn't turn music off. I turned the mute off. All right. I see there's a lot of fans of this game in the chat. Big time fans of this series in the chat. No wonder you're all here watching. All right, spams. All right, nothing is happening. All right, if nothing happens as I'm crossing this bridge, we're turning it off. Dear God, is this open world? Is it open world? Do we just walk around this whole town every episode? All right, here we go, something's happening. Alex, do you like to start fires? I'm getting some big Ralph vibes from Alex. Nice. Is it? Is that like 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 this? What? What? This is a fucking just animals just in the fucking stream in a fucking. Is this a dream sequence? Look, just look, 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 here they are, just in the middle of the fucking town. Like, there's the fucking people just watching. What the? Alex. 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 Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Oh, can you smell that exposition? Ah, oh, thank you for that dose of exposition. May I have another, please, game? Hug, handshake. Not much of oh, a. Oh, fuck. <laughs> None. No. Sugar, but I'm really glad to see you. Oh, very professional. We're excited to have you aboard, Miss Chen. I'm thrilled to be here, sir. I can't sir, believe you're here. Sir, believe it. What? She's all grown up. What's that? And I missed it. All right. Okay, I'm done. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck so bad. This is gonna suck so bad. It's gonna suck so fucking bad. How can you have a mystery? How can you have a mystery and, a, and, and conflict in a story when your character can read people's minds? So the only way that you can have that, the only way you can have that is if it's either, sometimes we're just not gonna fucking let you, or it's like, oh, it's only in specific fucking plot related circumstances that you're allowed to fucking read people's minds. Like, like, just like, what, 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 what the, like, this is fucking, like, Turns out, Gabe was a fucking serial killer the whole time, and the whole time that you were around him, he just wasn't thinking about a serial killing, therefore you couldn't fucking, you couldn't figure out that he was a serial killer. And there's certain characters just knew that you could read their mind, so, like, the whole entire time that they're walking around, they're just like, don't think about it, don't think about how you fucking chopped up a bunch of bodies last night, or else someone might, someone, someone around might be fucking tele, tele, fucking telepath, telepathic, that's it, not telekinetic, fucking telepathic, like, oh, 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 oh. I was, just in case, don't think it, don't think it, don't think it. She isn't a mind reader. What do you mean? He just, she just read his fucking thoughts. What do you mean? What do you mean she's not a mind reader? She's an empath, yo. Em empaths can't read people's thoughts. She just read his thoughts. We mean she's an empath. So they made a game around the worst fucking Captain Planet planeteer. Oh, fucking like Earth, Wind, Water, Fire. These are the ones with the faces. Of oh, heart. Like what? What do you mean? She's an empath. They made a superpower out of just basic fucking social interaction and reading people's body language and fucking what they're saying. 
This is not a superpower! This is just being a fucking human being! Is so that what's gonna be? Is it the end of the game? It's like, ha, oh, you thought she was an empath? No, actually, no! She was just fucking normal! What do you mean? Anyway, come back, I don't know, come back tomorrow or Monday and we'll play this. I'll try and get the democracy thing set up. Happy New Year's. Is there even a mystery? Is it just walking around just getting people what flower they want? Oh no, true colors. This is fucking just a game, just get people fucking flowers. Oh no, I need more flowers. Oh, what flowers do they really want? They said I wanted red flowers, but let me read their mind. They're actually feeling more like purple flowers. Alright, I'm gonna go get fucking purple flowers. Like... Oh, man. There are a lot of hidden achievements for this game. Why are there so many hidden achievements for this game? Why do I have someone on my friends list named Dumbass of Dojima? And why were you playing True Colors? Who is this? Who's Dumbass of Dojima? Recently playing through it. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, happy New Year's for real. Hope you have a good hope you have a good night. Don't get too plastered if you're partaking. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow or the next day. I will I will decide later. I'll probably just decide tomorrow to be honest. If it's not tomorrow, it'll be the next day, I promise, unless something horrible happens. I don't know if people even care about catching up through Life is Strange 2 in order for this one, but but, you know, I like to give a day break between the games that we do. If we do stream tomorrow, it might not be this. Maybe we'll like, try Ultra Kill or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, Happy New Year. Hope that you uh, enjoyed us finally getting through Life is Strange 2. Um, if Life is Strange True Colors is boring, I'm not playing it for one two streams. That's my promise to you. It, like The game itself can be boring, and we can make it fun. If we manage to make it fun, then we will continue playing it, because we're having fun with a boring game, whatever, if we can make it fun. But like I did not make Life is Strange 2 fun at all. So, sorry. Not even I could do that, you know, because I'm just so good at making boring things fun, I know. Anyway, see you later. Have a good rest of your day.